Stop. You're kidding me. I'm the one who really controls this world. Disperse. I never expected that someone with such talent was born in my inner world. On his own, he had actually created nine god lines which he had sent to each of the nine stars. He had planned to kill me using the power of the nine stars once I entered the inner world. To be able to do this, it's amazing. Let's see who you really are. Evil Goo, please keep our holy land safe. Evil God, please let our martial artists here improve their skills. He is collecting the power of faith. Because I'm only a realm lord, evil God can only reach divine transformation realm at most. He thought of using the power of faith in order to become stronger. Although I have no need for the power of faith for the time being, it is only when I have condensed the divine spark that the power of faith can be transformed into potential and my power can be increased. But evil God has taken over my influence in the world, and that's a problem. Let me see if you really are a stunning and extraordinary person. He's here. The power of nine stars indeed has no effect on him. From the historical records we have, it seems that this person is philanthropic. Do you really need to make an enemy out of him? He is significantly stronger than you. Princess Shilju of the Royal Empire and the wife of evil God. I have always been in control of my own life. How can I now be under someone else? I have always controlled others. Nobody can control my destiny. I can defeat any opponent that is one realm above mine, even if he is now two realms higher than me. With my current strength and using my previously prepared arrangement, I still have a chance to triumph over him. Okay, I can't feel his presence. Are you evil god? That's right, the one and only. Disperse your totem that collects the faith energy and dissolve your evil cloud holy land. Do these and I will spare your life, otherwise you will die. Spare my life? From the day I was born, no one has been able to get a chance to kill me. Even you are not qualified to do so. This guy really has outstanding talent, but he's a bit too arrogant. He doesn't know that if he somehow kills me, this world will also collapse. I do want to see how capable he is though. Then I'd like to personally check if I'm qualified enough. Humph. Swoosh. This guy is borrowing the power of the nine stars? I can feel that 1% of my origin strength has melted away. Buzz dense faith energy emanates from the sword. It must be a faith weapon. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Swish. What a peculiar sword technique. Did you create it yourself? Dong. Ha. Swish, swish, swish. Dong, dong, dong. Do you think I'm qualified now? Not enough. Buzz buzz huh? I can't move at all. She severed the connection between my soul and my inner world's incarnation. Die. Ha ha. Scatter. Did we make it? Is it so easy to kill the god of creation? As I said before, even the god of creation has weaknesses. His kindness has determined his fate. What? No, I can't move. Broken. Bang, bam, bam, you're smart and huh? You realize that you exist in an illusory world, but your mind is imprisoned. And I, I can introduce you to the real world someday, but this is not the right time, huh? Do you truly mean it? I don't need to lie to you. As a matter of fact, it would only take me a single thought to kill you. Shouju has deduced that the god of creation has the ability to get rid of any living beings and wasn't someone we could contend against by just relying on our own strength. I was extremely determined, so why did it end up like this, you, why did you give me this opportunity? Just do as I say. You're not qualified to collect faith energy. Don't get me wrong, I may be giving you a chance, but it has nothing to do with you. Swish. Husband, are you okay? A's. Why did he do that? Why did he say that it had nothing to do with you? I don't really understand either. It has nothing to do with me, nothing to do with me, I see. If I spare an ant, is it because of the ant itself? Of course not. In his eyes, I am an ant. He is a life form at a level which is beyond our comprehension, and it's normal for him to think of us as ants. 
I will prove to him that this ant is an extremely special ant. Let's go. Since he gave me this opportunity, I'll listen to him. Let's go rearrange the faith totem. This time, the totem will be for the god of creation. Yes, husband, finally, the problem of the inner world is solved. Evil God was able to rely on his own comprehension to activate the power of the nine stars through the God lines. Even in God's domain, this kind of talent and perception would be considered extraordinary, let alone in any of the universes. Besides, wasn't your body also destroyed by this mouse? You should have a grudge against this little thing. If I didn't poison this mouse to death, I would have been long dead. I don't know how powerful that poison is, but it's a pity that you killed this stone mouse. But you don't know how precious this stone mouse is. Back then, a true god had relied on this stone mouse to become a saint. In order to obtain this stone mouse, I gambled my entire fortune. But who would have thought that the stone mouse would hatch in advance and I would miss the opportunity to form a contract with it, no matter how precious it was, it's now dead. Why? You still know so little about the god's domain, even if the stone mouse is only a corpse, you will find countless true gods who will fight for it. Even the wealthy clans in the floating islands won't back down from getting it. Because, through the corpse of the stone mouse, you would be able to find the place where it reincarnates and dig out that strange mouse-shaped stone, even if you only use it as an exchange for something, the value of this mouse's corpse is beyond your imagination. So that's how it is. It's a good thing to keep, of course. But I don't have a shumi ring, although my scabbard can be used for temporary storage. It's not very convenient, after all. I have one on my corpse. It's made with God's domain's materials, so space changes can't break it. Since I can't use it now, you might as well have it. By the way, put the Great Thousand Heavy Sword in it. We don't want any unnecessary trouble. Everyone, you can come back now. Lu, Mr. Luo, where did you come from? Have you seen my ancestor? Master Evil Pan into an old enemy of his, they both died and almost killed me in the process. Like the two of them, the treasure went up in smoke. This. How could this happen? I wanted to follow Master Evil and help revive the 72 villages, but now, what can I do in the future? A's, I am now powerless to deal with the Sun and Moon Village. I can only let them live on their own. This deep pit is the result of the fight between Master Evil and his enemy? Our village was destroyed by him. It's okay, we can reclaim the land after it falls, and we can build new houses after they collapse, as long as everyone is okay. That's right. Master Evil is gone and the sun and moon village won't bother you anymore, it's time for me to go as well. Master, when I become a certified god martial artist, I will come to find you. Okay, I'll wait for you. Vast Sky Territory's Northern Mountain Range. Are we almost there? We're already there. See that triangular rock? That's the mechanism, just press it. It can't be that someone had already dug out the treasures. Right? Probably not. Tap. What the hell is this thing? Are they magic treasures or some kinds of rare materials? Neither, it's the currency of God's domain, God Marshal Coin. Is the God Marshal Coin able to replenish true essence? Or can it replenish faith energy? No, it can't. The use of the God Marshal Coin is too great. It can be said that possessing God Marshal Coins is equal to owning everything in God's domain. You will know what exactly these coins are used for in the future. Okay. Next you have to go to Mirror City. It's the closest god city in the vast sky territory. Through there you can go to the various powers in the god domain. I think your first aim is to enter a wealthy and influential clan on a certain floating island. Floating island, what kind of place is it exactly? I heard Xing Wei talk about it before, but I don't know the details. A's. Unexpectedly, as Luo Zhao's son and Gu Bei's disciple, you actually don't know anything about God's domain. It seems they may have deliberately not told you, so I'll have to tell you. In the middle of God's domain is a vast sea called the Time Sea. The sea is formed by light and time, and any living being who falls into this sea will be split by different time. 
In the center of the time C are the and constructed by powerful, wealthy clans. Only saints have the qualifications to establish a floating island, so each floating island represents a peak level power of the God's domain. They have monopolized around 90% of the resources in God's domain. These include those God Marshall coins. Once you enter a floating island, you will have a promising future. However, it's going to be difficult as you will have to gain the recognition of some powerful clan. Even I, not even I was qualified to enter a floating island back then. A middle rank true god like you was not qualified? Enter a floating island, jump. Then let's go there. Buzz. The slate's punishment is finally over. Bam, where did the smuggling take me? I can't fly in God's domain, so let's go ashore first. What is it? Roar. Swish bam. The strength of this monstrous fish is similar to that of a realm lord in the universe. I have to get out of here. Luckily, the shore is not too far away. Are more of those things coming up? Come on. Great lightning step. God's domain 15 really not to be underestimated. As soon as I arrived, I encountered a group of realm lord fish. Let's see where this is first. Before leaving, Master Xing Wei gave me this map, asking me to go to the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain in the Zhou Tian territory, this shiny spot. I should be here, then this is, surprisingly I landed in the Zhou Tian territory. According to Master Xing Wei, the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain should be at the northernmost part of the Zhou Tian territory. This place should be the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain, it doesn't look very far from here. Thoughtless Spirit Mountain is one of the four great forbidden regions in God's domain. It's where Master Yu Taibai is. Yenner, did you go up there again to look for him? Yes. When will my brother come soon? It won't be long. Big brother, where are you going? Someone's coming this way. I'm checking it out. Then be careful and come back soon. Okay. Flap. According to the map. This is the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain. It doesn't look like a special place. This is, is it just an illusion, or are there no entities inside the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain? If this really is the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain, then it won't be easy to break the illusion. Rumble, rumble. Such a bis commotion. What's going on? Rumble, rumble, rumble. Roar, roar. These beasts, surprisingly, they are all comparable to the lower true god realm. Are they coming towards me? No, it's more like something is chasing them. Roar, roar. Bam. I'll have to retreat. I can't fight against these true god beasts from god's domain. What is happening inside the thoughtless spirit mountain? This, what is this? A top rank true god creature? Roar, roar, roar. Stop it. Boom so strong, he easily crushed a creature comparable to a top rank true god. Thank you for your help. How dare a low rank true god come to Thoughtless Spirit Mountain? Brett, give me a reason not to kill you. I, I entered this place by mistake. Ha 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 ha. You're shocked. I guess you are the protector from the universe, right? What should I call you? You are Master Yu Taibai? Yes, it's me. I, Hua Tianming, have been entrusted by Master Xing Wei to find Master Yu Taibai inside the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain. Come on, I'll take you inside. This Thoughtless Spirit Mountain is the place where even the top rank true gods will fall. By the way, how did you know I would be here? I am the owner of the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain, so I can naturally sense when someone is near. Follow me. Hayes, I don't know if my brother has come to God's domain or not. Yin, why are you sitting here? Look, who have I brought to you? Is it you? Hua Tianming. Luo Yin? Yes, it's me. You've already come to God's domain, so you must have news of my brother, right? He should already be in the God's domain. As for the specific location, I don't know. All right, let's get inside and talk about it. So you're my brother's protector? Brother Tianming, my brother may not know what you're doing for him. Yinner is here to bow and thank you for him. If there is an afterlife, I'm willing to be your slave. It's also for the people of the universe, not only for Luo Zhang. You don't have to be like that. Then you are even greater. Let me admire you. 
Okay, let's get down to business. If you've come to see me, then I'm sure you've understood the whole plan. You just don't know what you should do next in God's domain, right? The situation in God's domain is far from being as simple as we know. In fact, rescuing the master is only the first step of the plan. The subsequent events will even affect the direction of the entire God's domain. But the rescuing master is not so easy. You should have already experienced some resistance. From now on, you must be more cautious than before. If you are not careful, you will die and our plan will collapse. I'll implant these words in my mind. You should have completely mastered the righteous divine Tao, right? Yes. With the power to open the sky combined with the soaring snake sword, you've already had the ability to devour the slates, haven't you? Yes, I've already mastered it inside Chi Yu's treasure. Then, you must secretly devour those abandoned cities and forgotten slates in God's domain. Those slates will not only quickly enhance your cultivation, but will also allow you to master the power inside the slates. But the power of the slate is far beyond your ability to withstand. The price of releasing this power is to sacrifice your own life. So from the moment you devour the first slate, you are destined for a path of no return. We hope that there never will be a day needed to release this power. If it's so dangerous, then why don't you do it? Why are you forcing Brother Hua Tianming to do it? It's not that he doesn't want to do it but that I have cultivated the righteous divine Tao and obtained the soaring snake sword, so these things can only be done by me. Otherwise, how can I be called a protector? Hayes, this matter is indeed a debt I owe to you from the floating island of the Luo clan. This is my own choice, and it's not just for you guys. Tell me, what else do you need from me? There are two more things to do, one of which is to become a core disciple of the Dongfang clan. The second is to trace the whereabouts of my master, Luo Xiao. Saint Xiao was captured by the Dongfang clan and the Mui clan, right? Yes, but we don't know where they have imprisoned the master. We have tried to investigate, but even getting into the Dongfang clan is difficult. Why is that? The Lo clan's floating island has been suppressed so badly that there are not many disciples left today. Junior brother Chen Huang Yijian is missing. Junior brother Xing Wei is seriously injured in the universe when carrying out the plan, and I am the only one still in God's domain. I am too conspicuous. The people I sent to the Dongfang clan couldn't stay in the Dongfang clan. The saints who are close to my master, under the rules of the slate, they simply can't directly intervene. Big brother, this will put too much pressure on brother Hua Yin Ming. If possible, Yinner is willing to share the pressure. The pressure on you is no less than them. You still need to continue to comprehend the power in your bloodline. The master has calculated it to be part of the plan with the great expanse Tao. Our entire future is at stake. You can't take this lightly. Okay, I understand. I will do my best. Then on behalf of my master and the living beings inside God's domain, thank you. I don't know what this has to do with God's domain's living beings, but when it comes down to it, let's face it. Do you have any plans for how I can get into the Dongfang clan? There is a third-rate clan, the Lu clan, located in a large region within the Dongfang clan's sphere of influence. Two and a half months later. Finally, I've arrived in Mirror City. Be quiet. Come here and register the points you have obtained today. What the hell is going on here? Why are there so many people outside? Do you think a god city is that easy to enter? The rule in most god cities is to pay one god's martial coin. It's only one god's martial coin. You think it's that easy to obtain a god's martial coin? Take a look at these warriors. They all need to continuously complete the missions issued to them by the mirror city. The weaker ones will have to work for tens, maybe even hundreds of years before they gain the qualifications needed to enter the city. This is the value of a god's martial coin. A hundred years of hard work in exchange for a god's martial coin? I didn't expect the value of god's martial coins to be so substantial. Master Evil has hundreds of martial coins, which is indeed very impressive. Don't you know the rules? Line up over there to receive your tasks. I'm not here to do any task. Shouldn't one be able to enter by paying a god's martial coin? This is the first time I've seen a certified sod martial artist that has a god's martial coin. 
This must be a gift from a true sod, or he got lucky and found some treasure, so he should be rich. Can I go in now? Not yet. It takes two gods' martial coins to enter the mirror city. One is not enough. I thought you only need to pay one god's martial coin to enter the city. This is obviously trying to raise the price. Today the price has increased. It takes two coins to enter the city. If you lack a coin, just pick up the task like they did. Save up enough points before you enter the city. I don't have time for tasks. Then come back when you earn your second god's martial coin. Hey, the people in god's domain are just as nasty as those in the universe, if not worse. Buzz. Nice people are always oppressed. Hiss. Bam. Dong. What? What a terrible soul pressure. Take it. Which floating island released this kind of genius? Although the Mirror City was one of the seven divine cities in the vast sky territory, it's not as bis as I had imagined. Why don't they make it bigger? This is different from the universe. In order to expand, the tenth spade holy lands in the universe continued to absorb talents and produced even more realm lords who would eventually fight each other to become heavenly venerates. But God's domain has developed for and is a world that tends to be stable. In any case, those rich clans on the floating islands change their rankings only every few years. It's difficult to have a real genius be born from these clans. So there's no need for the city to be big. So that's why. But where should I go next? The vast sky territory has three major powers that control all the god cities within the territory, but those who know better are aware that those powers are nothing more than puppets of the Han clan. You can use the teleportation channel to head to the Lurin territory to the south of the vast sky territory, which is the Han clan's ancestral land. The Han family? Ancestral land? Yes, the Saint Emperor of the Han Clan became a Saint 130 God's eras ago. The current Han Clan is also one of the wealthiest clans on the floating islands. This Lurin territory is the ancestral land of the Han family. You can go there to find a chance. If it's the Han family, Han Liosu and Han Chuyu that I met before are also surnamed Han, it wouldn't be good if they recognized me here. This Han Clan Saint Emperor is a saint. What is his relationship with Saint ML Haiji? I've been to the Godly Refinement Land and have met some of the Han Clan's members. If I were to rush in, I'm afraid they would recognize me. I don't know about that. There are so many children of the Han Clan. Don't worry too much about encountering them. If you are really worried, I can teach you a technique to change your face so you won't be recognized. Oh? Hee hee. This disguised technique doesn't actually change your face. This technique just lets you use your facial muscles in a way that gives the illusion that you're a different person. You just have to do this. Thanks for the advice. Let's move on then. Someone is following you. I know, he's a true god. But it doesn't matter a mere low rank true god wouldn't dare openly attack people in Mirror City. Just keep going. The teleportation channel is ahead. There doesn't seem to be anyone using these teleportation channels. Of course, it is not easy to build a teleportation channel in the god's domain. The cost of teleportation is also extremely high. It takes more than 100 god's martial coins to teleport from the vast sky territory to Lurin territory. It would take 300 to 400 years to simply walk over. The price is very high. Thanks again for the god's martial coins you gave me. This kid actually went in the direction of the channel. I originally thought that he had only six or seven gods martial coins. It seems that this time I can catch a big fish. Friend, why have you come to our mirror city? This mirror city is yours? I don't think the god city belongs to any individual. Mirror city belongs to the Han clan of the vast sky territory. Strictly speaking, the Han Clan 15 controlled by the Han Clan, making Mirror City belong to the Han Clan. I see. Thank you. Goodbye, now. You. Although I do not know where you came from, if you want to leave Mirror City safely, I'm afraid you will need to leave something behind. Do you mean this? Yes, yes, that's it. Daydreaming. You're a dead man walking. Swish. He's using the snow imprint Divine Dao. Master Evil, 
Didn't you say that it is forbidden to fight in the mirror city? You're the one that agitated this idiot. Nonetheless, he will also pay for his misdemeanor. Whoosh, what kind of idiot dared to create trouble in the God City? Does he really think that the rules set by the Han family are just for show? He's courting death. Buzz. I, I, didn't mean to do it. Bam, bam. Ah. This slate, is it the same thing as the slate that punished Muhaiji? No, this is just a Ten Commandments slate. The one that suppresses Muhaiji is the Ten Thousand Commandments slate, also known as the ruling slate, which governs the entire god's domain. There are more of these slates? Where else do you think these god cities and god's domain came from? The small ones were known as the Ten Commandments slates, while the big ones were called Hundred Commandments slates. Furthermore, the more enormous ones were the Thousand Commandments slates. From the moment these slates were created, no one has been able to destroy them, not even the saints. And all the god cities in God's domain are built around these slates. Thus to a large extent, the size of a god city is related to the size of the slate used. Since these slates are so powerful, why isn't there anyone who uses them as weapons? If I carry a thousand commandments slate on my back and lay down rules that work to my advantage, who would dare to fight me? Ha ha, you are indeed worthy of being the son of a saint. It is said that in ancient times, such things did happen. Some true gods wrote rules such as no one is allowed to touch me. Once someone attacked the true god, the slate would immediately attack the offender. At that time, battles between powerful true gods truly were battles between slates. But later on, such a situation ended. Someone wrote a rule on the Ten Thousand Commandments slate. No one is allowed to use the slates as a personal weapon. After this rule appeared, the true gods had no choice but to put down their slates. Brett, what are you doing here? This road leads to the central god city, the Lurin Territory. If you go to the wrong place, don't blame me for not reminding you. That's where I'm going. I want to use the teleportation channel. I can't believe there's a certified god martial artist who can shell out so many gods martial coins. Okay, please go this way. Wow, it's similar to the passage I used for smuggling into god's domain. Since the laws of space can't be used in god's domain, how was this teleportation channel established? Who told you that space law can't be used? Those top-ranked true gods, great perfection true gods and saints are able to use space law to a certain degree. It is not easy for ordinary god citizens to reach the top-ranked true god. The resources of god's domain are all monopolized by the wealthy floating island clans. With so many rules and restrictions, it would surely waste the talent for a lot of geniuses. Indeed so, but there are always people trying to break through this barrier. Turtle Dove Saint, for example, established the godly refinement land. Hilarious. Hilarious. Tap. This must be the Lurin God City? This is the Han clan's ancestral land as well as their central god city. It is a hundred times larger than Mirror City. You should go to the Han clan's certified god mansion first, which is similar to the martial sex in the universes. You can also go there to practice martial skills. Okay. Heavenly Han House. There are really a lot of people here. That's natural. It's said that after entering the Heavenly Han House, there's a slight chance to be favored by the Han clan. So in order to enter the Han clan, these people have spent a lot of effort. Life, death, regret, and... To measure the magnitude of the sky. Its meaning is mixed. Its shape is complicated. Someone else is preaching. This is the five elements divine Tao, but get out of here. Everyone can sit in this empty seat. Why should I get out? Brett, you're new here, right? The seat you want to use belongs to the Pang Master's son in the Heavenly Han House. If your parents didn't teach you the rules, I can do it for you. This person is very rude. Even other people's parents are scolded. If not for fear of revealing my identity and attracting trouble, I would have taught him a lesson. Instructor Wu, this brat dares to criticize your divine Tao, saying that the words you're teaching are shit and nonsense. Brat, you dare to slander me. Just what I needed. Who said that my divine Tao is shit and nonsense? 
He did. This new brat, tell me. Why is my divine Tao shit? Why is it nonsense? Young people nowadays are getting bolder and bolder, dare to talk nonsense in front of the heavenly Han house. In my opinion, what my predecessor has said is indeed bullshit and nonsense. You, what did you say? Say it again. It's true that the five elements are described in terms of life, death, regret, and... But senior, what you said is the exact same as the original meaning of the Tao tablet. The divine Tao can be comprehended in thousands of ways. You have just comprehended the literal meanings and drawn conclusions based on partial understanding. As such, it is very difficult to see through everything. Humph! Most true gods in God's domain cultivate the five elements divine Tao. What's wrong with this concept? Of course it's wrong. There are 25 different forms of the five elements divine Tao. However, there are two taboos, namely the firewood taboo and the water earth taboo. We must first remove these two taboos before we can take a step forward. How many low bank true gods reached this bottleneck with the five elements divine Tao because of these two sorrows? Presumably, this is also the reason why you have been unable to make progress in the five elements divine Tao? This, he's right, I've been a true god for many years, but I'm still stuck in the two taboos. It's now difficult to break through with my divine spark. In theory, there is only one way to break the two taboos, and that is to use the asterisk taboo-breaking pill. The taboo-breaking pill was actually a fusion of the wood-melting pill and the water-dissolving pill, which were respectively made of the fire-shaped bird's ever-burning comb and the earth-barbarian beast's heart. However, both the wood-melting pill and the water-dissolving pill were five times refined pills. Once the two kinds of pills fused together and defined each other, they would become a six times defined pill. I've been teaching for more than half a god's era, but I only have enough money for one wood melting pill. So what if I'm restrained by the two taboos? What's wrong with my divine Tao? Sir, you know that according to what you taught us, we will definitely be stuck by the two taboos. Isn't that the problem of your divine Tao? Hum. With so many true gods practicing the five elements divine Tao, how many warriors have actually managed to overcome these two taboos? You're just messing around with me. Somebody, get this guy out of here. Wait a moment, sir. I said that according to your method of practicing the divine Tao, sooner or later, we'd be bound to meet up with the two taboos. That's because you only know one way to break them down, right? Could it be that you have some sort of brilliant idea? Do you know the second way of solving it? Although I am a certified Sod Marshal, I also have a little comprehension of the five elements divine Tao. There really is a second way to overcome the two taboos. And this method doesn't need to rely on the taboo breaking pill. When a warrior has just learned the five elements divine Tao, the divine spark has two cracks in it because the five elements are mixed. Fire and wood are hard to merge together, and earth and water repel each other. Thus, these two cracks lead to two taboos. And this is because you only know the ancient method to prove the Tao. You know what is correct, but you don't understand the meaning. You can use the power generated from sold in order to make up for the lack, or the crack. Thus you can fix your daddy in with the power of gold. Although this method takes a lot of the end effort, it will eventually work out after performing it for a good 10,000 years. Anyway, a normal true 6 OD wouldn't be able to obtain the taboo breaking pill. This guy is such a clown. He's just randomly making stuff up as he goes. You know, some people just don't have much ability, but they sure are good at talking nonsense. Talking crap like that in front of your teacher is just the same as courting death. Gold and wood blend together to get the power of profound metal. You, you said we could make up for it with gold. How much wood and gold would you say it needs, then? 30% wood and 70% gold. 30%. 70%, making up for it with gold, filling the crack with, it's, it may be a stupid method, but it's a hell of a lot better than the taboo breaking pill. Who are you? And where did you hear about this method? I just had an epiphany based on my basic understanding of the five elements divine Tao. 
Impossible, impossible. How can you have such a deep insight at such a young age? Instructor Wu actually believes what he said. It's impossible. He's just a certified God martial artist. Allow me to explain. I wasn't criticizing you. Just because I sat in the wrong seat, I was slandered by this person. Besides, I never said your teachings are bullshit and nonsense. As these people started to blame me, I only went with the flow. Throw him out. I don't want to see him ever again. No. No. Instructor Wu, please forgive me. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been able to escape this trouble. But how do you know about the solution to the two taboos? If the disciples of those wealthy floating island clans encounter the two taboos, then they can just take some pills and overcome it. But us ordinary citizens can't afford a single five times refined pill even after working for many years. I had no other choice but to come up with such a method. Today's lecture ends here. Follow me. Okay. Inside the Heavenly Han House. May I know your name, please? I'm Luo Zhang. Can I know which floating island clan you come from? And why did you come to Lurin God City? I have never even been to any floating island. Really? If you're not from any floating island, then I don't believe that your method of profound metal to break the two taboos came from your epiphany. If you actually comprehended it yourself, then you should be a mid rank true god. It was left behind by a nameless senior, and think about it, those floating island clans, why would they need to come up with this reckless method? This. You're right. It seems that your senior was an ordinary citizen, but extremely intelligent. I've studied the five elements divine down my whole life, but haven't thought of such a method. It's as you said, my comprehension was nonsense. Hayes, I am sorry for not telling the truth before. In fact, I need your help in the Heavenly Han House. You want to become a disciple of the Heavenly Han House? Yes. Seems like he really isn't from any floating island clan nor a genius. He's just an ordinary certified god martial artist. He just stumbled upon this method of profound metal by luck and wishes to exchange it to enter the Heavenly Han House. Even though a true god instructor of the Heavenly Han House, you still have to pass the entrance test to enter. I can't just break the rules to let you in. But I can nominate you for a place in the entrance test. It's also really hard to get a spot in the entrance test. However, with my status, I can easily do this. Normally, a spot in the entrance test is sold for 7 to 8 God Marshal coins. But this method of profound metal is much more valuable. If Instructor Wu can give me spot in the entrance test, then that's enough. I am not picky. Great, I finally got to this step. When I enter the Han clan's floating island through the heavenly Han house, I'll be closer to my goal. That's easy then. The annual entrance test of the heavenly Han house is in one month. Almost half of the spots have already been distributed. I'll go and secure one for you. Please wait a bit. Here you go. Engrave your name in it. Thank you. I hope you can enter the heavenly Han house with your strength. But I'm afraid there's no hope for you this year. Lurin God City Main Road. Trash, isn't it forbidden to fight in the God Cities? It's different in Lurin God City. Although fighting is forbidden, there are some additional laws. A martial artist can challenge someone in the city for a God Martial coin, which is the battle tax for the Han clan. Just before the Heavenly Han House's entrance test, there will be a lot if certified God Martial artists fighting in the streets. This is also an opportunity to test your strength. So that's how it is. Brilliant Restaurant Wait, stop. Let's go into the Brilliant Moon Restaurant. What will we do there? I haven't eaten for many years, and I don't have any appetite for food. Moreover, it's going to cost a lot of money. You shouldn't think like that. The inner universe of saints is a lower world. Food there contain many impurities. But the foods in God's domain are pure primal chaos. Just swallowing them has many benefits. And the food in the largest restaurant of Lurin God City, you will understand once you go in. All right. Oh, there are fights even inside the restaurant. Young master, were you invited by a friend? No, 
Just me alone. Please come this way. I am new here and don't know what to eat. Do you have any recommendations? The snow lotus arch is very famous here. The chill in it can seep into the dantian and nourish the internal world. And the flaming duck stand is a speciality of the brilliant moon restaurant. And of course, there's the moon melting wine. Are these dishes expensive? Of course they're expensive. The brilliant moon restaurant has high prices. A single meal can bankrupt a family. I was a VIP guest here back then, but now I'm just a broken soul. Young master, if you don't wish to order then you can sit over there and watch the fight. One snow lotus arch, two golden jade leaf, one flaming duck stand, half a heavenly fruit, an old shattered jade, a plate of hibiscus crystal and a plate of clear music branch. Ah, uh, yes. And finally, a pot of moon melting wine. This man isn't dressed like a disciple of a floating island clan, but rather like an ordinary martial artist. This will cost about 200 god martial coins. Can he afford it? Anyway, no one can just dine in dash in the Han clan's territory. If he really can't pay, then it will be him who'll suffer. Are you satisfied now? I'm afraid this will use up most of the god martial coins you gave me. Where will we get god martial coins next? He, you'll know soon. Jump. I am Qian Ho from the Qian family of Mirror City. I wish to challenge Sun Hao of South Shield God City. Do you dare to fight? I, Sun Hao, accept the challenge. Buzz. Whoosh. Swish swish. These gods martial coins, I think they were seized by the power of that slate, right? Of course, after paying two gods martial coins, both martial artists can fight, but they still can't attack others. This is stipulated on the Thousand Commandments slate. The Sun and Qian clans have started again. They fight against each other almost every year. I wonder why these two clans never get bored. You wouldn't understand. Victory or defeat between these two great clans is very important to them. Sounds to me like there's a grudge between the Sun and Qian clans. Am I wrong? He, the grudge between these two clans has been for a long time. In fact, I had already been aware of that when I was still in the vast sky territory 7600's eras also, the Sun, Qian and Yang clans are in control of the vast sky territory. Each clan controls two god cities. The Heaven Curtain's god city is the largest god city and thus the one where the most god's martial coins could be obtained. Back in the day, the Han clan hadn't declared which clan owned the Heaven Curtain's god city and thus the three clans fought over it. In the end, the Yin clan could no longer compete and the battle between the Sun and Qian clans got even more intense. This eventually alarmed the Han clan. The Han clan made a rule, every year before the Heavenly Han House recruitment, the two clans could send three certified god martial artists to compete for the ownership. In other words, the two chosen ones should be the most powerful certified god martial artists from the Qian and Sun clans. One from each clan, he. Coiling Dragon Spear Creek Pop good, good spear technique. Looking at Sun Hao's momentum, I'm afraid that the Heaven Curtain's God City will be controlled by the Sun Clan after all. This Coiling Dragon Spear is not bad, but it's too fancy, it can be broken with strength and speed. This kind of spear technique, how can it be called good? Stab Stab Jump no wonder this brilliant moon restaurant allows martial artists to battle. In the universes, I'm afraid there's no floor that can withstand the attack from a realm lord, Swish. Do you give up? That was a good move. I lost. Boastful fool. Chin Ho, how about I challenge you? I still have important things to do, so this time I won't accept it. Originally, my challenge to Sun Hao was just a routine work of the Chin family. Oh? Drop. Oh my god, there are so many gods martial coins, there are over 300 of them. This challenge could cost him a fortune. If Qian Ho doesn't want to fight, will someone else challenge me? If you win, these are all yours. Certified god martial artist Hulen Jua. You mean that violent brat? Whoever dares to challenge him is truly courting death. 
I heard that he came to the Lurin God City a month ago and that he has already defeated three certified God martial artists. One of them also died. Does anyone really want to challenge him? I'll challenge you. As long as I win, these God's martial coins are mine, right? Swoosh. It's a poisonous hand. This person cultivates poison divine Dao. The man who dares to challenge Hulun Zhao has some skills after all. Hum. Boom. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Cut, cut, cut. This brat is really ruthless. He should stop the fight when it's over, but he just cut off that person's right hand. Young master, all the dishes you ordered have been served. Please enjoy your meal. Swish. Scatter. What is this brat doing? Although the wine is ridiculously expensive, the key to the meal is this pot of wine. Creak. Crash. It stinks. What is this brat burning? It's so stinky. Someone stop that brat. The moon melting wine is brewed in a special way. The marrow within it smells very good. However, after being burnt, its smell becomes unbearable. Additionally, if it is mixed with a snow lotus, the stench becomes even worse. Then, you will mix them with the earthy crystal tendons in the fire quick stand, then grind the spice into powder and sprinkle it on them, then refine it with true fire. Why does it take so much effort to eat? Is this pill refining? Crash crash. Bang. I guessed it right. You made me make a golden pill. Nonsense. Do you think it is very easy to concoct the golden pills? This is only a food pill. It can only fill the stomach. It smells so much better after the pill is completed. It smells so good. I've never smelled such a pill before. It doesn't smell like medicine at all. On the contrary, it smells like food. Um... This food pill melts in my mouth, and there is a long-lasting flavor on my tongue, as if it can enter my soul. That person is less than a hundred years old, but he is truly knowledgeable. He can even concoct an original pure food pill. Brilliant Moon Restaurant's manager. Han Wenshan. I don't know which senior he got the secret recipe from, but it was a splendid display. He's rather interesting. This year, Han clan's examination attracts some strange people again, Han Jiaming. Should we bring in that fellow and ask him? No, this person will definitely take the Han clan's exam. Then whether he's a dragon or a dose, we'll know when the time comes, humph. I came here to deter other martial artists by intimidating them, but I didn't think these people would focus on the food. Hey! You! What? How about I challenge you? No, what do you mean? You don't dare? It's not that I don't dare, it's that those are not enough. Are you saying these aren't enough God's martial coins? Crash, crash. Stare. Crash, crash. This should be enough. It, it must be in the thousands. I'm tempted to give it a go. Still not enough. Just how much is enough? 5,000. I need to grasp this opportunity for free coins whilst I still can. This brat is really daring. This kid is trying to make Hullen Zhuo feel embarrassed and give up. Unfortunately, he might have underestimated the Hullen clan's wealth. 5,000 God's martial coins is indeed a huge amount of money, but for the Hullen clan, it's not a bis problem. Okay. 5,000 it is. Uncle Lian, bring me 5,000 God's martial coins. Yes, young master. Crash. Goodness, 5,000 God's martial coins. How about it? Here are 5,000 God's martial coins. Don't even dare to fool me. I'm sure you're aware of the consequences of doing so. I accept your challenge. Wait a minute. You should pay the bill first, otherwise I won't allow you to compete. It looks like they have no confidence in me. I've kept you waiting. Let's fight. Dang. Swish. Swish. Not good. Ah. Creak. Boom. Crash, crash. Crash that brat. Actually won. Crash. Tap, tap. Boy, do you dare take these godmacial coins? Why not? Since you dared to bet, 
you should naturally accept the consequences. It seems you're not afraid of offending our Holland family. Which family do you come from? Why should I tell you? This kid defeated young master in a single move and he can concoct food pills. I'm afraid there's someone backing him, someone very powerful. If I offend him or his family, master will punish me severely. I should heal young master first. Fortunately, young master only suffered a small soul injury. How can a certified God martial artist cultivate his soul to such a level? What is the origin of this kid? How come he's so strong that he only needed one move to defeat Hull and Joie? If it was a life and death battle, Hull and Joie would have died many times over. Young lady, the food pill is ready. Thank you so much, Grandpa Hoor. Han Bailujo. It smells so good. Please enjoy your meal, young lady. Yum. Delicious. That person downstairs knows the highest essence food pills refinement method at this young age, and both his soul and physique are extremely strong. I don't know what divine Tao he's cultivating, but to be able to defeat Hull and Joie in one move, it seems a bit too strong. Not defeat, but a kill. He has the ability to kill in one move, but chose to be merciful. Well, it's possible to kill in one move. This person's origin is definitely not simple. Young lady, should I investigate? Investigation is a must. I think this guy's background is extremely interesting. Young lady, you and that man aren't the same. Don't be attracted to him, Grandpa Hoor. What are you saying? I don't like him. Grandpa knows your personality very well. I wonder, just who is that man? Ha ha ha. I only intended to teach you the pill refinement method to attract some people and make a small profit. But who knew that you would meet a silly young master and earn a fortune? It's nothing. After this incident, all the families will start to investigate you. Although I am not afraid of these families, I should prepare for the entrance test. You should go into seclusion and prepare for the entrance test. Who the hell is that guy? Few days later. Heavenly Han House. Look, who's that guy who came in fourth? I don't know him. That's your ignorance. I heard that he defeated Hull and Joie in Brilliant Moon Restaurant a few days ago. This Hull and Joie only ranked 11th. Then how did he rise to fourth place, only behind the three Han family sons? This is interesting, but even so, I don't think this mysterious young man is the opponent of the three Han family sons. I haven't come out for a few days and am now ranked fourth well it doesn't matter, I'll show them in the end. Now that we are out for a walk, let me show you an interesting place, called Money Alley. There are all kinds of weird things in there, you can try your luck, oh? Then let's go check it out. This is Money Alley? But it's so narrow, can you really sell anything here? Step aside. Boom. So that's how it is. This heavenly spirit root was mined three god eras ago, selling it for only 20 god martial coins. Sanskrit for sale. You won't find such pair and high quality Sanskrit anywhere else. Is this Sanskrit scroll for sale? But aren't Sanskrit extremely rare? One of the Sanskrit on this stall is the first Sanskrit that the Divine Feather Saint discovered many god eras ago. Its meaning has long been interpreted and countless people have comprehended it. So it's not rare. If it's a Sanskrit that has never been seen before, and if its meaning has been interpreted, then its value would be terrifying. Those type of Sanskrits would alarm even the great floating island clans. How can it be here for sale? Hayes, do you want to buy my Sanskrit scrolls? No thanks. It's strange. The consciousness of my internal world is telling me that it's hungry. This is the first time this has happened since I stepped into the Divine Sea Realm. How could such a feeling so suddenly appear? Is there something strange nearby? Looks like it's something from this woman's stall. Not these. It looks like an ordinary lump of mud. But what is it? Do you wish to buy anything, sir? Did something catch your eye? None of these things seem of, of much worth. My internal world's consciousness has suddenly taken control of my body. What's happening? No, 
Even if this thing is important to my internal world, I must control the consciousness of the internal world first, otherwise, there is a risk that the consciousness will occupy my body. Do you recognize that lump of mud over there? What kind of treasure is it? No, it just looks like ordinary mud to me. Excuse me, why is this piece of mud sold here? This piece of mud is a treasure. A treasure? If it's a treasure, then why does it look like you're trying to throw it away? It's true, when this piece of mud was dug up 20 years ago, there was a very tall golden apricot tree growing on this piece of mud. The tree grew more than 100 feet high. The ordinary golden apricot tree is only 20 to 30 feet. At that time, someone said that there were spiritual objects buried under this tree, so our Thai family sent people to diss it out. I didn't expect that after half a day of digging, that this mud would pop out. At the time, this piece of mud even took on a human form and attempted an escape. It was extremely fast. Luckily, my second uncle was there and he caught the mud before it could go anywhere. Do you want to buy this piece of mud? How much do you want to sell it for? Hey, the more you pretend you don't care, the more you actually want it. I've seen it all before, then I'll ask for a high price. 500 God's Martial Coins What clan does this girl belong to? Is she out of her mind? I'm not very good at bargaining, and it seems that the young lady has read my mind. It's too expensive, I'm just a certified God Martial Artist, how can I have such a large amount of money? I have a hundred at most. It can't be sold for 100, moreover I offer this price to everyone. What are you selling? What does he want for 100 God's Martial Coins? It's the piece of mud you dug up. He offers 100 God's Martial Coins and you still don't sell it. You're out of your mind. Come and take this, friend. I was the one who dug this mud out back then. A hundred God's Martial Coins is a deal, second uncle. You can't be like this, I am the stall owner. Wait, this young man looks so familiar, isn't he the one who challenged the Hullen clan's young master in the Brilliant Moon restaurant and obtained 5,000 God's Martial Coins? Now the whole God city is gossiping about him. Yes, yes, yes. In that case, 500 God's Martial Coins, and not a single coin less. The less trouble the better, anyway, I think this price is still worth it, I just felt uncomfortable with her ripping me off. Then I'll give you the 500 God's Martial Coins. Okay, deal. What exactly did you buy this mud for? I don't really know, I just know that my internal world needs it, I'm going to put it in my dantian first and try it out. I need to meditate and cultivate now. I'll seal you off for a while. I'll naturally undo the seal when I'm done cultivating. You're afraid that I will spy on the secrets of your internal world, okay? Buzz. Pew, pew, pew. I'd like to see what this mud is for. Puff. Crash. I'll wait here and see what happens. Is it the master? The master has taught how to cultivate the ice soul demon flame, and my comprehension of the laws have broadened. Now he seems to have come here for an important matter. I can't miss this opportunity. Master, please excuse me. I have found something that could be of great benefit to this world. What is the reason for your visit? Rumbling. Rumbling, 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 whoosh, whoosh. What is that? It seems to be different from the other clouds. This cloud has a hint of spirituality, and it seems to be somewhat similar to the sword cloud left behind by E.G.N. Heavenly Venerate. I wonder if it also contains sword intent or Tao enlightenment. This should be a sword cloud generally used for martial artists to understand the sword techniques or Tao enlightenment. Sword cloud, I see. Go, go after it. So strange, the direction this cloud is flying in seems to be the direction of my divine spark plate. I understand, I know the role of this mud now, and how to condense the divine spark. If my deduction is correct, this cloud should be the medium for condensing the divine spark first, I'll try to condense my understanding of emotion severing divine Tao into the cloud. Swoosh! Ting dong! This momentum is truly extraordinary. Swoosh! It seems that fragments of the divine spark have been formed. Pew pew pew! 
pop. The power inside the fragment is so strong, it must be the embodiment of my complete comprehension of the emotion-severing divine Tao. These tiny crystals should be what's necessary to form the divine spark. When enough crystals cover the divine spark plate, then it should fully condense the divine spark. The purpose of the mud is to form the Tao cloud. The divine spark plate absorbs the Tao clouds and starts forming the divine spark. Finally know how to form my divine spark. Previously I thought that my techniques were comparable to the master. Only now do I realize that his understanding is as vast and unfathomable as the sea. And my understanding is just a tiny drop of water. Master, the sword intent in the sword cloud, can we comprehend it? Now is not the time. I barely scratched the surface of the emotion-severing divine Tao. I haven't seen the Tao tablet for the emotion-severing divine Tao yet. With my limited understanding of it, it will be very counterproductive to learn from me. But don't worry, I'll let you leave this world. When the time comes, you can see the real Tao tablet and comprehend it yourself. Good, I will help you to take care of this world. Well, I'll be going then. Great, although the complete divine spark is still very far away, but I'm on the right track. I just need more mud if I want to further develop the divine spark. But where can I find this stuff? If I look for that young girl again, I'll be ripped off again. I'd better ask Master Evil first. Wow. Do you know where that young girl came from? What? That piece of mud, is it really effective on you? Yes, it's very important to me. I remember that the young girl claimed to be from the Thai clan, which must be the Thai clan outside of the Luren God City. The Thai clan should just be a small clan that can't even be considered a third tier clan. I think they just obtained the mud by chance. I advise you not to waste any time on this for the time being. It is better to start with the Han clan. After returning from the examination, maybe there will be more information here. Okay, let's consider it after the Heavenly Han House's examination is over. When going to the Heavenly Han House, it would be safer to do so with different clothes. Heavenly Han House Examination Day Brother, why are these God citizens so excited? Over a hundred thousand people are fighting for over twenty places. Are they all here just to take the test for fun? Third on the ranking, Han Xian. You're right, they might not have viewed themselves objectively. Second on the ranking, Han Hui. Humph, I don't know if the fourth ranked person will appear, but I do want to see the person that pushed my ranking down. Fifth on the ranking, Han Jian. Hulun Zhuo was only ranked 11th and that mysterious youth defeated him and then ranked 4th. That is indeed unfair, though it's nothing to be concerned about. Look over there, he seems to be the one who defeated Hulun Zhuo. Really? He also looks very ordinary. How dare you steal the limelight from our Han clan? I'll go meet this guy. Don't fight in the heavenly Han house. This is after all a rule set by our clan. We must lead by example. I know the rules. All those who take part in the Heavenly Han House's examination must register their names and origins. What is your name and where are you from? I asked you a question. Answer it. If you don't answer, then I will expel you from the Heavenly Han House. Are you an examiner for the Heavenly Han House? I am not an examiner. So what? If you're not an examiner, then you're also here to take the exam. What right do you have to question me? Because my surname is Han, I represent the examiners of the Heavenly Han House. If a Han clan member can represent the examiners of the Heavenly Han House, is there a need for us to take the exam? Wouldn't it be just as well if the Heavenly Han House directly enrolls your Han clan members? Why bother enrolling the warriors from the 36 regions? Are you putting on some kind of act? Everyone, don't you think so? That's right. If Han Jin thinks he's an examiner, then he can just announce that he has passed the exam and joined the Heavenly Han House. Why does he still need to act for everyone to see? We came all the way here just to be toyed with? Every year, half the slots are taken up by the disciples of Han clan. Just enroll them and stop with the act. I just wanted to give Luo Chinching a warning, but I didn't expect him to stir up the crowd's anger. If I continue to argue and get into unnecessary trouble, I will be punished by the Han clan rules. The Han clan is just doing a show. 
This is how the Han clan fools everyone. That's right. That's right. This fool that doesn't know how to argue has brought us all down. Quiet. Head of the Heavenly Han House, Han Ming. Everyone, don't worry. Only strength matters in the exam of the Heavenly Han House. I believe everyone knows that there have been many Han clan's disciples who have been eliminated in the past. Any certified god martial artist that is able to obtain a divine Tao will be allowed to join the Han clan. So was Han Jin just showing off? Dong Dong. The spiritual bell has ruins. As usual, everyone must throw their white jade token high up into the sky. Based on how high you throw it will determine the order of the examination. I'll go first. Swish. Han Xian, 670 feet. There is a strong resistance in the air. The higher you throw the white jade token, the more strength you have. Each person's strength will be recorded. Okay, let me try. Swish, swish, swish. This is a very strange examination. Han Jin, 790 feet, the new high score. Han Jin threw 790 feet. The best result from all the years seems to be only at 820 feet, right? It seems like Han Jin's strength is really underestimated. He shouldn't be ranked fifth. I have thrown 790 feet. It seems you haven't thrown yours yet. Throw the white jade token in your hand to the sky. If you don't dare, giving up now will save you some face. Are you looking forward to it? I'm not looking forward to anything. I just want to see you make a fool of yourself. 35% power of the nine stars should be enough. Buzz. This, this man's strength is simply immeasurable. If I send him to the Saint Emperor of the Floating Island, he may be accepted as a direct disciple. Swish. Creak. Bang. Humph, it's fine if you don't dare to make a move, but you intentionally damaged the white jade token. You're smart. Sorry. I forgot that the white jade token is just a piece of jade. It's too brittle. Don't make excuses. Shut up. Third uncle. He deliberately damaged the white jade token. I told you to shut up. You're Luo Tianqing, right? And you are from Misty Mountain Village? Our clan rules 36 regions, and there are a total of 13 Misty Mountain Villages. In which region is the Misty Mountain Village you live in located? I'm from the Misty Mountain Village in the Vast Sky Territory. Vast Sky Territory. The Misty Mountain Village in the Vast Sky Territory has been in decline for many years, so this kid is from there? It's a pity that the White Jade Token has been damaged, but it's not your fault. How about we give you something else to throw? Otherwise, I wouldn't know where to put you on the list. This pair of short halberds are supreme primordial weapons without any rank. Their value is about 100 gods martial coins. Now, I give them to you. And you can use one of them to throw again. Third uncle actually gave such a precious object to an outsider. It's so unfair. Okay, then I'll start. I'll use the same amount of strength. Let's see what happens. Whoosh. The highest record in the Heavenly Han House is only 820 feet. Is he planning to break through the 900 feet mark? I think he is going to break through to 1,000 feet. Dong. Wow, what's this? No, not good. The halberd that Luo Tianqing threw hit the barrier and will trigger the Thousand Commandments slate. We're in trouble. Elder Chen. Hurry up. Use the veto token. I'll give you a new one later. I didn't bring the veto token with me today. Damn it. It's over, it's over, Luo Zhang. You should be careful. You seem to have triggered the Thousand Commandments slate. This. Who told you to be in the limelight? Now you're finished. Ha 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 ha. Boom. Veto token. Buzz. Creak. Pop just in time. Phew. Thank you for your help, miss. No need to thank me. Besides, I saved him, so he should thank me. Thank you for saving my life. This token is worth a lot of money, and you're just going to say thank you? I saved your life. How do you want to repay me? Repay? 
What is this little girl trying to say? We still have a few veto tokens. After the exam, we'll have someone send them to you. What do you think? The veto tokens are easy to obtain. I don't care about them at all. I saved his life, so according to the rules, his life counts as mine? So he's my man, right? I wonder which branch of the Han clan you are from. This young girl doesn't seem to be renowned, yet she has a veto token. She must have an extraordinary background. The Han clan on the floating island has a total of three main branches, which are the spiritual branch, heaven branch, and earth branch. Those three branches were the core strength of the Han clan. The young girl probably comes from one of them. Which branch? I don't know either. You don't know? Impossible. Is she not from the floating island? Since you don't know which branch you are from, can you at least tell me your father's name? You want to know who my father is? Why didn't you ask earlier? My father is Swish. Miss. Swish. Grandpa Hoor, didn't you say you were going to wait for me outside? Are you the leader of the Heavenly Han House? As a member of a sub-branch of the Han clan, don't you know that some questions can't be randomly asked? Who is this man? This is 13th sub-branch of the Han clan. Han Meng gives greetings. 9th sub-branch of the Han clan. Han Jin gives greetings. 3rd sub-branch of the Han clan. Han Xian gives greetings. This old man looks like a servant, but he has such a high position. The small green sword must be of high importance. That's right, this small sword was probably given by the Saint Emperor, that means he is qualified to meet directly with the Saint Emperor. This young girl may also be a relative of the Saint Emperor. Miss, you've said that if your identity is revealed, you must go home with me, no. Miss, then, bring this brat back with us. If I didn't use the veto token to save him, I wouldn't have been exposed. What great luck to be directly taken to the floating island. This person is a gifted genius, and I am responsible for selecting the wise and capable. If he really becomes a disciple of the Saint Emperor, the status of the Heavenly Han House will also be enhanced. How can I let him be taken away just like that? This, this person came to our Heavenly Han House and should be accepted by us as a disciple. How could he be taken away so casually? We have no interest in him, but he does have extraordinary talent. I hope to see him on the floating island one day. Grandpa who, miss, let's go. Swish. Phew, finally gone. Well, Luo Tenching, if you join the Heavenly Han House, then in a few years, you will be able to go to the Han clan's floating island with your talent. Sir, I am indeed heading for the floating island, but my own path has been planned out long ago. Entering the Heavenly Han House is unnecessary. There are some shortcuts in this world, but I am not willing to take any of them. This Luo Tenching actually refused the chance to directly enter the Han clan's floating island. He's so foolish. It's easier said than done, lost this opportunity, and then wants to enter the floating island? Daydreaming. Good ambition. With this kind of mentality, there shouldn't be anything difficult for you in this world. Thanks for the compliment. The names and origins of all the certified god martial artists, as well as the heights reached for the white jade tokens, are all recorded in the book, House Leader. Great. Then please follow me to go to the backyard of the Heavenly Han House to visit the Consulting God Hall. Luo, Luo Tianqing, you are? My surname is Tai. My name is Tai Yin. My sister is the owner of the Tai family stall in Money Alley. She sold you a piece of mud that day and did not mean to pip you off. I can ask her to return some God's martial coins to you after this Heavenly Han House examination finishes. No need to return it. How can I do that? I can't. It's really not necessary. The young girl's brother is very generous, so he might be able to find out more information about the piece of mud. To be honest, I have a request to make. I wonder where you DUIs out that piece of mud. Can you take me there after the Heavenly Han House's examination is over? Yes, I can, but all I know is that it initially had a bit of spirituality, but it didn't seem to have any effects or anything special about it. It sounds like he's looking for more of that mud. Is there any use for it? 
I believe that it's not the first time that many of you have taken the test in our Heavenly Han House. And you all already knew a lot about the Consulting God Hall of our Heavenly Han House. However, I still wish to reiterate the rules within. This Consulting God Hall was built by the Saint Emperor of the Han Clan 23 Gods eras ago. There are more than 300 imitated Divine Tao tablets in the Consulting God Hall. You will have some time to obtain enlightenment. Within the specified time, as long as you reach enlightenment with a tablet, you will pass. These imitated Divine Tao tablets have existed for far too momentum have undergone slight changes. If you can't withstand the pressure of the internal momentum, by all means, please don't force yourself. If you force yourself, you could end up crippled or dead. Heavenly Han House will take no responsibility if any incident happens. According to the rules of the Heavenly Han House, the top-ranked warrior will be given priority to enter first. Luo Tianqing, if you would please. I'll go there first. Okay. It's quite an imposing hall. The Heavenly Han House has inherited the heritage of the Han clan, and it is indeed not to be underestimated. It is a pity that the Heavenly Han House is not well run and has not made much of a mark over the years. That's why he wants to recommend you to the floating island, to show that he has made a good recommendation. I think it's normal. If the Han clan has been crowned saint, naturally all the elites of the Han clan will be moved to the floating island, leaving only the Han clan branches. What achievements could the branches have? I've traveled to other great clans in God's domain, and they were all in a better position than the Han clan. Some of the wealthy floating island clans still take care of their ancestral land. What is the purpose of these incense sticks? This is soul awakening fragrance. The heavenly Han house has spent a lot on the test this time. The soul awakening fragrance is no cheap item. It can make a person's soul more sensitive and they would become more sensitive to the internal potential. It's miraculous for jade souls, it's negligible for gold battle souls. So considering your soul level, it is obviously useless to you. This feeling, is it potential? That's right. Potential is a description of a true God's ability to summon the faith energy within their inner world. On the other hand, one's comprehension of it was called the internal potential. The house leader of the Heavenly Han House said that these Tao tablets inside the Consulting God Hall are just imitations. It's a bit disappointing. I didn't expect that the power contained within these bricks underneath my feet would be so immeasurable. They've only absorbed a small amount of the Tao tablet's potential. The aura here is so strong. Why are they rushing? The ability of a normal certified sod martial artist to comprehend a Tao tablet is limited, so they are in a hurry to try one by one. You don't have to push with your ability to comprehend, just take a look first. What are you doing? Get out of my way. Snow Emperor Divine Tao, I don't need it for the time being, good choice. It's the Five Elements Divine Tao. The Five Elements Divine Tao is the most widely cultivated Divine Tao in God domains, so there are many people here skip it for now. The aura from this tablet feels familiar. I remember that when Young manipulated the sword formation, it gave off this kind of aura. This Divine Tao should be related to the Extreme Purpleine Physique. Luo Yin also has an Extreme Purpleine Physique. I wonder if she also comprehends the divine Tao in God's domain, will she also cultivate this Tao? If this Tao tablet is beneficial to them, I'd better help them write it down a little. What? This is the Great Purple Chi Technique, also known as the Purple Chi Divine Tao. Generally, only women can cultivate this and they also needs a special physique. I'm afraid that you will only waste your time here. I just want to take a look. The inner potential of the Purple Chi Divine Tao is relatively mild, but that doesn't mean that it's weak. If you get too close, those inner potential will attack you. Thanks, but I'd like to see it more clearly. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Swish, swish, swish. Han Jin of the Han family is acknowledged by Show Imprint Divine Tao. So fast. It's the Snow Imprint Divine Tao. Someone has been recognized by the Snow Imprint Divine Tao so quickly. Wow. I didn't expect that Han Jin would be recognized by the Tao tablet so soon, as expected, he is the fifth on the great list. Aes, wasn't Luo Tianqing there before him? What happened to Luo Tianqing? 
Huh? What's going on? How did that kid climb up to the purple chi divine Dao's tablet? Isn't the extreme purpling physique only for women? No, that's not completely right. There's also a couple of men who possess the extreme purpling physique, however they're rare. Most of them are eunuchs. Swish, swish, swish. Watch out. Soul space. Cretch. No wonder the old man on the floating island is so optimistic about him. This man has such divine abilities. Crash, rash, crash. These purple chi are not a threat to me. My soul pressure can easily deal with it. I just don't know how to obtain the Tao tablet's approval. Crash. Great purple oi technique can transform the purple of into an auspicious place and create a world of its own. There are three types of this operation among all living things. It is the development of the natural laws. It may not defy the divine will and it, I see, the great purple oi technique is actually another manifestation of the true essence, but it inherits the ability to recreate a world with chaos chi, so the purple extreme realm in the universe of great expanse is an isolated world. The great purple chi technique, when cultivated to the end, can open up a world in God's domain alone, called the purple heaven absolute land. Although this world can't compete with the universe, but it's also stronger than the ordinary internal world. Han Jiui can also be called a sub-saint due to this purple heaven absolute land. So that's it, although Luo Yan's extreme purpling physique is given by father, I don't know if she cultivated the great purple chi technique or chose another divine Tao. I wonder if father has any other plans for this, strange, why is the infinity ruler that's inside the depths of my mind, spinning? Click. Click. Boom. What is that? I understood the true meaning of the purple chi divine Tao. Or rather, she didn't write down all her insights. This imitation Tao tablet is incomplete because the women that carved this tablet didn't comprehend the purple chi divine Tao to perfection. The infinity ruler has absorbed the purple chi divine Tao? Wait a minute. If I remember correctly, this infinity ruler has exactly 3,000 scales. In that instant, a scale included the purple chi divine Tao. Could it be that the infinity ruler is meant to contain the 3,000 divine Tao? Whoosh! Luo Tianqing has been recognized by the purple chi divine Tao? Impossible. It's clear that he doesn't have the extreme purple ing physique. Yeah, what's the secret of this kid? What should we do? Should we declare that Luo Tianqing is qualified? He is indeed qualified, but it's impossible. There's no way he could cultivate the purple chi divine Tao, furthermore. Although there are quite a few martial artists in God's domain who possess the extreme purple ing physique, the actual talented ones among them were not many. Almost all of the talented ones are women. According to the rules of the Heavenly Han House, once recognized by Purple Chi Divine Dao's tablet, they can't enter the Heavenly Han House. Instead, the person is given to the sub-saint of the Han clan, Han Jiui. Her status in the clan is second only to the Saint Emperor. He can't be given to Han Jiui, otherwise, we won't obtain the merit to promote him to the floating island. This matter, we have to hide it. For now, I won't announce it. Hey! Why hasn't it been announced that Luo Tianqing has been recognized by Purple Chi Divine Dao? It's quite an odd event. They must still be busy with confirming it. Whoosh! Elementary Fire Divine Dao This was the origin of all strange flames in the world and the purest form of fire. With the Elementary Fire Divine Dao, one would be able to comprehend all kinds of mysterious flames. I'll give it a try. Does this guy want to be recognized by a second tablet? As long as you re-recognized by a Tao tablet, you are qualified to enter the Heavenly Han House, but those recognized by a second Tao tablet are very rare. Only four times in the history of the Heavenly Han House has it happened before. Chirp, chirp. Popple, popple, pop. Whoosh. Pop. Click, click, click. This scale should be the location that the ruler reserved for the elementary fire divine Tao. These 3,000 scales corresponded to 3,000 divine Tao. Even the location of each divine Tao had already been set. Whoosh! The elementary fire divine Tao is the fire source. All the fire laws were developed from the elementary fire divine Tao. 
into four different levels. The first level is to control fire, the second is to create fire, the third is to create spirit essence, and the fourth is to turn into objects. In this way, maybe I can control the 3000 Divine Tao, I've succeeded. But I haven't seen a real tablet yet, and none of the Tao contained here is perfect, it won't be easy to obtain all the 3000 Divine Tao, I'll have to take my time, what's going on? Luo Tianqing has been recognized by a second tablet? Alas, even in my dreams, I struggle to be recognized by a divine Tao tablet. But even after spending so much time in comprehension, I've achieved nothing. How can this guy do it as easily as drinking water? Misty Mountain Village, Luo Tianqing, recognized by the elementary fire divine Tao, at last, this genius can belong to our heavenly Han house. Impossible, this guy hasn't selected the divine Daos at all. He is comprehending them one by one? I can't believe he's looking for more Tao tablets to comprehend. If he can be acknowledged by the Black Tortoise Divine Tao's tablet, I will accept the fact. Whoosh. Flick, this guy can't be described as a genius, he's a monster. He doesn't have any plans to stop, he has already reached the fourth Divine Tao tablet. Should we go and stop him? It's too much. No. I'm going to let him go on like this and see how many tablets recognize him, but I won't announce the rest. Yes. Seven days later. I hereby announce that the Heavenly Han House's examination is officially over. Out of the 100,000 certified God Martial Artists this year, 67 of you have been successfully recognized by a Tao tablet. Ugh, my soul has been tired out over the past few days. That's for sure. You have absorbed so much internal momentum in a short period of time, constantly eating at your soul. I'll teach you a technique to recover your soul quickly. You should find a place to rest. Okay. Phew, that's a relief. I've absorbed the internal momentum of 260 Divine Tao. This ruler is simply unreasonable. I have roamed God's domain for many years and have never heard of such a divine object. Even a First Bank Supreme Primordial Weapon doesn't have an ability extreme enough to hold 3,000 Divine Tao. Just what the hell is this thing, haha, I don't know, I want to try using these new Tao. This Purple Chi splits into many paths that are randomly formed. The Great Purple Chi technique itself is an embodiment of the laws. It can be used to create sword arrays. No wonder Young is capable of grasping the God-slaying sword array. Swish. I'll try the Black Tortoise Divine Tao. What is this? This is the protective shield from the Black Tortoise Divine Tao. Luo Tianqing, the house leader wants to see you. Why does the house leader want to see me alone so soon? Heavenly Han House Main Hall. Head of the 9th Subbranch, Han Chen. Head of the 12th Subbranch, Han Yu. The news we received earlier from Mirror City has just been confirmed. Luo Tianqing's origin is very suspicious. The Misty Mountain Village, but in fact, he has only been there for less than six months. He was even involved with the conflict between the Misty Mountain Village and the Sun Moon Village, as well as Master Evil's return. I also think he is very suspicious. The God's citizens from Misty Mountain Village don't know his origins. This guy deliberately hides his identity and then sneaks his way into the Han clan. There might be a conspiracy here. After all, all the outsiders in the Heavenly Han House have revealed their origins. How can there be so many schemes? Maybe Luo Tianqing is a talent from a floating island? Do you really think there's a clan on the floating island willing to release one of their talents? Even if that was the case, would our Han clan be willing to accept him? Since the two of you are having such thoughts, how do you think we should deal with Luo Tianqing, then? Expel him from the Heavenly Han House, hmm? As long as the two of you and Han Daoji agree, I won't hesitate, not even for a second. If that's the case, then speak up, and I will take the responsibility. To put it bluntly, you both just want me to take all the responsibility. You want to recommend Luo Tianqing to the floating island, but you're equally worried about his unknown origin. If something happens in the future, you don't want to be implicated. If that's the case, then speak up, and I will take the responsibility. Brother Han Ming's words are too much. 
Our Han family sub-branches have always been working together. How can we let Brother Han Meng take the blame alone? That's right. We should carefully question Luo Tianqing later. Maybe things are not as they seem. After all, geniuses are rare in God's domain. It is understandable that he hides his identity. Luo Tianqing has arrived. Tianqing, please sit here. May I know why you've summoned me here? To be honest, all of the disciples that we recruit are treated like family. But according to the rules that have been passed down from our ancestors for generations and generations, we need to investigate into all disciples' backgrounds. But some of the things I've learned about the Misty Mountain Village seem to be inconsistent with what you've said. I'm indeed not from the Misty Mountain Village. Then where exactly are you from? Sorry, I can't say. We don't accept warriors of unknown origins. I hope you cherish this opportunity. If that is the case, then I have no choice but to leave the Heavenly Han house. It's impossible for me to reveal my identity. If this shortcut doesn't work, then I have to find another way. This. Whoosh. This man can actually fly in God's domain. Could he be a top-ranked true god? Leader of the Han subbranches, Han Dazi. Greetings, sir. Hmm. The piece of clothing that you're wearing, what kind of treasure is it? Swipe. Pop. I didn't expect this kid to have such a defensive treasure. Sir Han Daoji is a top-ranked true god. He could easily rip out the organs of a certified god martial artist with a single grasp of his hand. Now, what's that supposed to mean? This true god is able to ignore the rules for the Pan God City, or could it be that the Heavenly Han House doesn't need to follow the rules of the Thousand Commandments slate? Well, I just wanted to test your abilities. You're quite quick to react, I must say. Breathes in. Swish. Oh. His movement technique is quite profound, not something ordinary certified god martial artists can achieve, even Han Ming and the others would find it hard to avoid. Sir, I have already passed the Heavenly Han House's test, but you still want to test me, head. Your movement technique is amazing. Interesting. Swish. Eight tunes flying smoke. Swoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Swish. Throw. What a strong power. Stumbling. Sir, Sir Han Daoji is a top-ranked true god. Why does he bother with teasing a certified god martial artist? Furthermore, Luo Tianqing's impression of the Heavenly Han House is not good. If this continues, he may really leave. You haven't fallen yet? Swish. Whoa. I just can't believe it. He's coming again. This guy is simply insane. He's going too far. Swish. He wants to learn my technique? With his strength, he should just forget about it. Hmm? I can't even break free? If I continue to probe like this, I don't know when it will be finished. I must take action, the power of nine stars. My body can only withstand 30% of the source power, crack crack. I'll have to use the remaining 70% as well with the life-crossing divine ability. This should be enough. Crash. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Boom. Sir, are you okay? I'm fine. It was just a spar with a little kid, but there was an accident. A little kid? Which little kid is so powerful? When did our Han clan have such a powerful little kid? Could it be Luo Tianqing? Oh, it's really this kid. Too impulsive, too impulsive. Your strength is indeed astonishing, but if the fight gets serious, you might not necessarily be a low-ranked true god's opponent. And a mid-ranked true god can easily kill you. Han Daozi is an outstanding top-ranked true god, and you will be doomed if you actually offended him. If I were to tolerate that over and over again, what would this guy have ended up doing to me? He did that only to force me to show the limits of my strength, or to investigate my background. I can die but there are some things that will never be revealed. What will Sir Han Daoxi do with Luo Jianqing? How can I know this? Good. Although I don't know how you've managed to cultivate such power, I think the old freaks on the floating island would be very happy to see a little freak just like you. Ace, he is not angry at all? 
If you still want to test me, I will leave the Heavenly Han house. Everyone wants to go to the floating island, but this won't be my only chance. Young man, it seems that you're still angry. You almost broke my old bones, but I won't seek revenge for that. Previously, the house leader said that people with unknown origins won't be accepted. Oh? Who said you were from an unknown origin? Isn't your name Luo Tianqing? You were born in the Misty Mountain Village, that's outside the Mirror City in the Vast Sky Territory. You are highly talented, have infinite power, and have devoured strange objects since a young age. And, you have learned from powerhouses. Bravo, bravo. If Sir Han Daoji is willing to forge an identity for Luo Tianqing, that would be great. What if, I mean, what if? It's not that I don't trust Luo Tianqing, but if he is plotting something, then what should we do when his plot is exposed? Well, the Han clan might be angry at me and dismiss me from my post. Then, you'd have a chance to succeed me as leader. Sir, are you satisfied now? Look how sincere I am. Can you teach me the secret to training strength? He he he, no comment. I'll give you the secret code of my clan as an exchange, ahem. Sir Han Daozi is really getting outrageous. Since you are in favor of retaining Luo Tianqing, should we wait until next year for the Han clan to come or recommend him to the floating island right now? Next year? If we wait until next year, we won't stand a chance. Yesterday, the 6th sub-branch already sent someone to the Time Sea. They are backed by Han Jiliai, so they will be eager to report Luo Tianqing's matter. What should we do then? I acted faster. The second day after the test, I had ordered someone to go. I believe we can get ahead of the 6th sub-branch. And have enough time to send Luo Tianqing to the floating island. If Han Jiliai wants to recruit Luo Tianqing, she will have to ask the Han clan. This, Sir Han Daoji, is indeed wise. Then you go back first. We will inform you when there is news about going to the Han clan's floating island, okay? Tai Yin didn't pass the exam and has already left. I'd better go to Money Alley and find his sister first. Money Alley, what are you going to buy this time? I did out a few more pieces of mud. Interested? What? This little girl is really brave. I didn't expect her to really dig up a few pieces of mud from the ground to sell. This is too much scheming. These pieces of mud are just ordinary. I'm not buying anything. I'm looking for your brother Tai Yin. We met at the Han clan's examination. He promised me that he'll lead me to your Tai family. My brother? My brother is the most honest person. I think you wanted to take him to the place where we found the mud. Another opportunity lost to make profits, A's, all right then, I'll talk to my brother and the elders later. You can just come to us at the address on the note. Okay. Thai family village. Dig. Dig up everything. Let's take a break, we've been digging for half a day and we haven't found anything. The Thai family has been digging hard all this time. If we can dig up a piece, Tai Yin will definitely give it to Brother Tianqing, but unfortunately, we haven't found anything. It doesn't matter. I'm very lucky to have obtained a hint. Let's go down and take a look. Uh, did you find anything? No, Tai Yin said that her second uncle dug out from under a big tree. Wonder where the tree was originally located? Our clan excavated this place with the tree as the center. Logically, it should be in the middle of the huge pit. Then let's go to the other side of the tree to see it. Whoosh! It seems to be here. Brother Tianqing? Can I dig here? Be my guest. Bang! I'll go in and explore first. Okay, okay. Clank! It feels like that thing should be down there. I'm at the rock layer. These rocks are so strong that I'll have to use 30% of my source power to dig through it. Buzz. Boom. Boom, boom. This guy is digging through the rock layer. The rock layer is so solid that even the middle rank true gods would find it difficult to dig through. He is indeed a genius that is qualified to enter the floating island. My inner world's reaction keeps getting stronger. It should not be far away. Shatter. Creek. Boom. 
It's empty below the rock layer. This seems to be a huge cave. Swoosh. Huh? Swish. 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 This thing, this thing is the same sort of mud that I absorbed. Whoosh whoosh. Shoo. Plank. The black thing had disappeared from this spot. There is no place to hide. Did it perhaps hide inside the rock layer? Where could this thing have gone? According to the book inside the library, the surface layer in God's domain is ordinary soil. Underneath the soil is the rock layer. Underneath the rock layer is the flint layer. The flint layer 15 a hundred times tougher than the rock layer, and below the flint was a layer of soft stone. The soft stone was flexible enough that even a top-ranked true goo would find it hard to break it. Green magma, known as the lethal fire magma, flows under the soft stones. Even a saint would not be able to escape from this lethal fire magma. This mud is hiding in the flint layer. Let's see if there's anything else in the cave first. What the hell is this? Is there a race in God's domain that looks like this? Their faces are a bit peculiar. Absolutely not. They are not living creatures at all. I'm guessing it's a stone statue that has been thrown here. Buzz. It's that piece of mud. It's back. Take this. Swoosh dang. It's so hard. Just what did I hit? What is this? When I first came here, I didn't see this rock, Luo Zhang. This cave has changed. The entrance seems to have disappeared as well. The hole has really disappeared. This cave is so weird, it has completely exceeded my understanding. Not good. Whoosh. 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 This can't go on like this. This stone, there aren't any stone spikes growing underneath it. Dang. Whoosh. Boom, boom. Kriaki. Damn. Buzz, buzz. What the hell is going on here? I don't know either. I've been to three forbidden lands and even sneaked into the soul desolate, but I've never encountered anything like this. The mud is back. Crash. There's something in the wall. What are those shadows? And why are they growing bigger? Not bigger. They're getting closer. We better find a way to get out. And don't hit that mud again. This whole cave is like a trap. For such a fierce creature to survive hidden in the Lily Ringot territory, without great strength you may not be its opponent at all. This mud is very important to me. It's worth the gamble. Besides, if we don't defeat it, we can't get out. Let's go. Selfless sword. Divine go sword. Slash. Bang bang. Boom boom. Creek creek. Swoosh. Creek creek. Creek. Sneer. Whoosh. Creek. This thing can really drill into the rock layer. But I have already seen through it. The middle part is the largest and has protrusions on the surface. The other five pieces are just tentacles. This should be the core. Clang. Bang. Is that an eye? After losing this eye, the mud shouldn't be able to move. This eye seems to be the key to improving my internal world. I'll grab it first. Whoosh. This hand doesn't seem like the hand of a living being. I can't feel any blood chi from it. It's as if it's made of stone. Luo Zheng, look. Those arms are all out. This place is too weird. This cave is a trap. So Luo Tianqing hasn't come out yet? There has been no movement. Let's go in and see. I hope nothing happened. Eh? Wow, he even went through the rock layer, but... Where did he go? That's odd. There are no other passages. He must surely be down here. It's impossible for him to go anywhere else. Look, there's a mark on this stone. It looks like it was made by a sharp weapon. It should be Luo Tianqing's weapon. The space below should be empty and he hung here by using his weapon. But how is it possible? According to what you say, there is a cave below this rock layer and that cave has been moved. According to the marks here, yes. But that couldn't be, 
This place is so weird, I'm afraid that Luo Tianqing is in some kind of trouble. Second uncle, third uncle. Let's dig further and take a look. Luo Tianqing should be down here. All right. Bang. Swish, swish, swish. Eight tunes flying smoke. If the original hole is gone, then I'll make a new one to escape. Whoosh. Whoosh. What's going on with this mud? Whoosh. What is this? I obviously came down from the top of this cave. Why is there suddenly a huge cave now? None of this makes sense. I can only rely on my instincts now. You can escape below. Good. Selfless sword. Boom, boom. Finally, things are back to normal. Close. Phew, I'm safe, but I can't keep digging down. Who knows what I'll find next time. I have a feeling that this cave moves through the rock layer, but I have no idea how it does it. You can diss a longer passage that goes around the cave. That should work. Rumble, rumble. Whoosh. Whoosh. I'm out at last. Eh? Isn't this the guest our master invited? Why is he here? I'll go tell them. Luo Tianqing, where have you been? We sus along the cave where you went down before, but we didn't find anything. I also found it strange. I somehow couldn't find my way back, so I just dug randomly in the ground. Not only did I not find anything, but I also went into the Thai family pond by mistake. I'm sorry that you didn't get much out of the trip. It's okay. I appreciate it. Since this is the case, I'll return to the Heavenly Han house. Thank you for your time today. Goodbye. Farewell. Heavenly house. After I caught this eye, the mud lost its energy. This bead should be the real core. This is a soul container. There must be the soul of some living being within. It's rare to hear about a soul sealed inside a bead. I only know of a Fu in the Immortal Mansion who is a puppet, but the soul in it has survived for countless years. Could it be that his soul was also sealed in a container? There is indeed a soul inside it. It still wants to escape. Ha ha. The soul in it has been pretending to be dead. You can use your divine sense to see what's going on inside. Whoosh. What is this? This, this is Yan? No. This is not her, although they looked exactly the same, their auras are totally different. I. You can talk. What do you want to say? Whoa. Zap. Disappeared. What the hell was she trying to say? What did you see? Why are you so shocked? Luo Zhang is the disciple of Gu Bei, so he must have witnessed quite a lot of things. So what could he have seen that would make him lose his mind like this? The depths of God's domain. Rumble, rumble. Swish. That's true. Why not let me finish my words? Master Xingwei had told me that Yenner is under the protection of Yu Tai Bai, so that this young girl shouldn't be Yen. But why does she look exactly like Yen? What if it's her? And what was she going to say to me? I can't think about it anymore, else it will create a heart demon. She's definitely not Yenner, I have to believe that. Phew. When I obtain the strength to do so, I'll go explore that cave again. For now, it's time to throw the mud that I obtained into my inner world. Buzz. Whoosh whoosh. Buzz. This time, there are a lot more Divine Spark Crystals condensed than last time, but with my current strength, it's still not enough to deal with the strange creatures in the cave. I should first improve my strength on the floating island. One month later. The Han Clan's recruiter. Han Yaozi. Ah, you had the clan send me over here just because you're recommending a boy from a remote village? I remember the last time you recommended Han Yang. He was really excellent. I still remember his performance after going to the floating island. I wonder how that brat is doing in your sub-branch. He is Sir Han Daozi's son. He has worked very hard since he was a child and has excellent talent. We recommended him to the floating island, but he came back after three years. He returned with a broken mind after being targeted by the other Han clan's disciples. Yang is still one of us. I hope the sub-branches would recommend someone sensible this time, not a lunatic like Han Yang. 
Han Yang is not a waste. At the beginning, it was you who tested him. If he is a waste, how could he pass your test? Everyone makes mistakes. I will definitely test the warrior you recommend this time more carefully. Luo Tianqing has arrived. I thought you were going to recommend someone incredibly talented. But it turns out you bring another waste to the floating island. It seems that this person is supposed to take me to the floating island. He's already calling me names without even testing me. What an arrogant man. Ahem, during my heavenly Han house examination, this Luo Tianqing has been acknowledged by hundreds of Tao tablets he has no total talent. That's why we made an exception to recommend him to the clan earlier. He's definitely not a waste. So what? Begins acknowledged by hundreds of divine Tao tablets is just because of his potential. Moreover, you should chew no more than you can swallow. A truly promising genius can achieve great success only by cultivating one divine Tao. Whether or not Luo Tianqing has the ability to enter the floating island, please feel free to test him. Since you are so confident, then I won't be polite anymore. Do you think our floating island is so easy to enter? Okay. Take this. Let's see what this fellow is capable of. Whoosh. What does he intend to do? He is a top-ranked true god. How could he suppress you by the five elements divine Tao? Luo Zheng, you'd better run. Who knows what he's up to? Let's see. Son, I have cultivated the five elements godly wave for twelve gods' eras and formed my own understanding. I can transform the internal potential into the five elements disillusionment. If you can resist for even five minutes, you will have passed the test. Whoosh. Rumble, rumble. The top-ranked true god's attack is really extraordinary. Using two of the five principles from the five elements divine Tao, bursting out extremely unstable disillusionment energy so that the power can be multiplied. Boom. Ah. If you can't withstand it, then don't push yourself too hard. If you can't go to the floating island, you will still have a chance in the future. It will be a pity if you're killed, though. You. What should we do? Using the self-realized divine ability of a top-ranked true god to deal with a certified god martial artist, what a shame. The test is too much for you to handle, Luo Tianqing. You need to give up. Next year, our clan will send someone again, then you will be able to enter the floating island. Strange, I thought he couldn't last more than a few seconds. I didn't expect him to resist for so long. Should I use more potential? But that won't be so good if rumors spread later. Hey, but he might not last for five minutes. Just give up. Wu Zheng, the best thing is to wait for another year. No. Swoosh. Swish. Just give up. Brad. The power of disillusionment is not something you can resist. If it invades your mind, you would lose your soul and be dead. It's not beneficial to only resist the attack. I should try to absorb it and make it my own. The Infinity Ruler can be activated with internal potential. I wonder if it can absorb this divine ability? Perhaps I can allow some of the internal potential to dash into my mind and let the Infinity Ruler absorb it. I'll take this gamble. Swish. Hey, 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 you even brought it in here. If I'm not careful, then it could kill me. I'll keep my distance for now. Why is there no response? Was I wrong? Or do I need to allow more internal potential to enter? Swish. What is Luo Tianqing doing? He dares to remove his soul's defense and actively let the internal potential enter his mind. This is simply suicidal. Han Yaozi, stop it. If he dies, I won't forgive you. He brought this upon himself. It doesn't matter what's the reason, you must stop immediately. What? It's those eyes again. He had used them repeatedly during the Heavenly Han House examination. The key to him being acknowledged by so many Tao tablets is due to those eyes. Hum. According to the nature of the heaven and earth, water can quench fire. Rigid beats soft, so gold can chop wood. Essence beats solid, so pure can melt gold. I have comprehended the five elements disillusionment divine ability. If incompatible properties are used for this destructive force, then I can break it by using compatible properties. 
Hum hum. Swish. Luo Tianqing is planning to use the five elements divine Tao to break the five elements disillusionment? Is he making a huge mistake? Not necessarily. There must be a reason for him to do so. The five elements disillusionment makes the five elements restrict each other and can generate the formidable power of destruction. However, if I let the five elements generate each other through five elements power before the elements restrict one another, it's impossible for the destruction power to be generated. For example, this water dragon in front of me is constantly conflicting with the golden fire bird, just like water trying to quench fire. If I want to crack it, clap. Before the water dragon and the fire bird can restrict each other, I'll release the mutual power of gold and wood. Gold will produce water, wood will feed the fire. In this way, disillusionment dissolves into perfection, canceling each other. It's complete. This brat actually broke my five elements disillusionment? Impossible. I have never taught it to another person, so how could it be broken? Could it be that he has comprehended the internal potential of the five elements disillusionment? How did he do it? Those who have broken through my internal potential must die. Boom, rumble, rumble. Wu Zhang. That old man is going to kill you. This swish. Punched. Han Daoji, how dare you attack me? Whoosh. Sir Han Daoji actually helped me. Why wouldn't I dare? If I report this to the main clan, even if I were to kill you, nothing will happen to me. We might be from the same generation, but you're only a recruiter from the floating island. You want to silence a genius recommended by the heavenly Han house just because he comprehended your divine ability. That man, I refuse to bring him into the floating island. Next year, when the Han clan sends people here, I'll go with them. As long as I'm still here, there's just no way that he's going to the floating island. Suit yourself. For such a talent, many places will want to welcome him. If you insist on causing delay in fulfilling the Han clan's mission, then do whatever you want. But when Luo Tianqing becomes famous in the near future, I'll go straight to the main Han clan in order to humiliate you directly. We are all from the same clan. Purple Soul Hall Han Meng. Why did you fight one another? I didn't expect you to be here today. What? Am I not welcome? Not at all, Han Meng. We're honored to have you here at our heavenly Han house. To be honest, it is true that we don't really want her here. After all, Han Meng is a disciple of Han Jioli. She must know that Lo Tianqing has been acknowledged by the Purple Qi Divine Dao Tablet. Originally, I wanted to recommend Luo Tianqing to the floating island, but now... I'm afraid that we can no longer recommend him through the normal channels after all the trouble we've had with Han Yaozi, it's better to have Han Meng take him away. Maybe Han Jioi will provide us with some benefits. As you must have guessed, I'm here for a little fellow known as Luo Tianqing. My master, Han Jioi, has heard about him and wants to take him to the floating island. As expected of Han Jioi, she has a great eye. One couldn't have found such a talent among the children of the Han clan on the floating island if they had wanted to. Humph! Han Jioi only recruits warriors that cultivate the purple Oi divine Dao. Yet this guy doesn't have an extreme purple ing physique. How did he attract Han Jioi's attention, then? This is just ridiculous. Ha ha ha. Luo Tianqing, show this from in a well what you're capable of. Okay. Roar. Roar. Turned purple chi into substance. And he is doing so with such skill. But he hasn't condensed the divine spark yet. What a strange guy. Humph. I guess the heavenly Han house must have clashed with Han Yaoji. Otherwise, you won't let this young man go with me. Forget about him, Han Meng. You've had a long journey. You should rest here a bit. Most of Master Han Jioi's disciples are females, and there are only three male disciples. I did not expect that she would have another male disciple. You want me to be a disciple? What? You don't want to? Being the disciple of Han Jioi is a good shortcut for many true gods, but this kid, Han Jioi, is a well-known sub-saint in God's domain. Her status is second only to the Han clan saint emperor. 
She even has plans to create her own sect and floating island. Sorry, I already have a master. I appreciate your honesty and non-persistence, but joining us doesn't necessarily mean being master of Han Jiui's disciple. It's not easy to become her disciple. It could be possible that she might not want you as her disciple. I see, then I will go with you. Let's get to the floating island first. The next day. The Heavenly Han House gave me a more detailed identity. No matter who checks it, there are no flaws, so this solves a problem that I had. Come with me. Yes. Home. This flower is built with the Purple Chi Divine Dao and is a space treasure. It's filled with a vast space to move around in. Good. During this period, I will cultivate the Divine Daos inside the Infinity Ruler. Soon after. Luo Tianqing, we've arrived. Home. That's right. The sea, is this the time sea? It's so beautiful, what are you doing? I just want to get closer to the seawater, I don't know why, but when I look at this time sea, I feel a strong sense of belonging inside me, as if I came from this ocean. The time sea is beautiful, but deadly, even if I were to fall into the time sea, I would never be able to escape, not to mention you. You see when the seawater is surging, it turns into fragments of various colors, in fact, these things are not as beautiful as they seem, they are not some kind of material, but fragments of time. The time sea records whatever happened in the history and turns it into countless fragments. If you touch one of the fragments, you would fall into that certain time period. So I can travel to any stage of God's domain through the time sea? Theoretically, yes, these are fragments of time and not a complete time passage. So when you fell into the sea, you would also be split into countless pieces and fall into different periods of time. So the moment you fall into it, it means death. Why did all the wealthy clans establish floating islands here, knowing that this place is quite dangerous? That's because the ruling slate is here. What does the ruling slate have to do with the floating island giants, ferrymen, come here? Han Meng has said anyone who fell into the time sea would face instant death. Then how is there a boat sailing on the time sea? Oh, there is a way to cross it. The materials used to make the boat are so special that they can isolate the time law within the time sea. As far as I know, these boats belong to a very mysterious race called the Sunblind Race. All the god citizens of this race have never opened their eyes to see the world as they are all blind. They have been sailing on the sea for generations. So that's how it is. Is it Han Meng who wants to cross the sea? Yes. Please get onto the boat. Is there another person with you, miss? Yes, there are two of us. What's wrong? I won't ferry you across the time sea. Please leave the boat now. What do you mean? The reason doesn't matter, I can't take him. Our Han clan has paid enough God's martial coins to your race. I have some very serious work to accomplish on the floating island and yet you refuse to ferry us across? This time sea is very dangerous, so there are many taboos in our sun-blind race. You should be aware of them. Taboos? That's right, the time sea is a sea of death. Any life forms falling in the time sea will be torn into pieces, so it is extremely dangerous. The sun-blind pace has also set taboos for when they won't cross the sea. First is midnight or noon, second is during turbulent weather, third is astronomical transit day. The astronomical transit day is a grand holiday of the sun-blind race. During this day, there is no boat on the time sea, and no one could pass through it. If there was someone on the boat that made the ferryman afraid, they would not ferry the person. So it has to be the fear taboo. It is neither midnight nor noon. There is no violent storm brewing in the sea. Today is not even the astronomical transit day. Then why won't you let him inside the boat? Because I'm afraid of him. Afraid? Luo Tianqing is just a certificate god martial artist. Why are you afraid of him? I'm afraid of him. His aura is not right. I think my father can do the job. My father and my brother may not be afraid of him. Well, in that case, we'll wait a little longer. 
I don't know what the three of them are talking about. Why are they afraid of me? You sit in my boat and I'll take you there. But I'll only take you. Go on, I'll see you on the floating island. Okay. Whoosh. Just as Master Evil described, the waves are full of time laws and time fragments. This boat is made out of special materials. There is a faint cyan light covering the bottom of the boat. This should allow it to sail in the time sea. Just now, your son said that he didn't want to ferry me because he was afraid of me. Why did he say that? You have a peculiar aura that is very similar to that of the Emperor Resentment. It's the strongest creature in the Time Sea, living in this sea? You mean there are other creatures in the Time Sea? If not, how did you think the Sun Blind Race conquered this sea area? Where did this boat and this pair of bone oars come from? They are all taken from creatures in the Time Sea. The bone oars were made from the spine of the ghost swimming fish. The boat is covered with the skin of the magic dragon fish. But no matter what kind of creature it is, they're still afraid of Emperor Resentment. Once this sea creature hunts in the Time Sea, only saints could survive it. Even a saint can't kill it. I have the aura of Emperor Resentment. How is that possible? I've never even seen such a creature before. It's only similar to it. My son is still young and hasn't seen the Emperor Resentment yet, so he rejected it based on instinct. In the previous God's era, I saw the Emperor Resentment's hand. I see. But don't worry, I'm not afraid. I hope that you can be a guest to our sun blind race during the astronomical transit day. Okay, I'm also very interested in your blind sun race. Ah, on the time C, many people lose their time judgment. Although we have only spent just over an hour on the sea, your body will feel like a long time has passed. Strange, why am I so sleepy? If you're tired, don't hesitate to rest. Okay. Creek, creek. We've arrived. Those are the floating islands? I think so. It's the first time I've seen it in my life. You've arrived, Luo Tianqing. When you come to our race's celebration on the Astronomical Transit Day, just wait for me right here when the day comes. Did I hear him wrong? Did he just invite you to their celebration on the Astronomical Transit Day? What's wrong with that? I really don't know what kind of secret you're keeping. You've even been invited to participate in the celebration on the Astronomical Transit Day. In the past, they only invited important figures from great sections, so that's the saints, sub-saints like Han Jiwei, and sometimes great perfection true gods. Well, I didn't know the importance of it when he invited me. I see. Let's go. Whoosh. The Lu Clan? This is the Lu Clan's floating island. It's the weakest wealthy clan. It used to be one of the top ten wealthy clans. A huge change happened to the clan 60 gods eras ago, and it has thus fallen to this point. I see. Even the wealthy clans from God's domain can't live without worries. The Sia clan, a wealthy clan that ranks second to last. It has been one of the wealthy clans for 110 gods eras, but has always been ranked second to last. It hasn't gone up or gone down, ever. This is? Is it the Ling clan? Or the Han clan, perhaps. What happened to this floating island? Did someone set it on fire or something? No, it's the Luo clan. It used to be one of the top ten wealthy clans, but now it has been destroyed. Every once in a while, the island will drop by one rank. There is no one on this island, and its ranking will keep falling. I believe that before long, it will fall directly into the time sea. Luo clan? This is your father's floating island, right? When I spoke with father, I knew his situation wasn't good. Seeing it with my own eyes now, I understand the severity of our family's tragic situation. By the way, your surname is Luo. Are you not from the Luo family? The Luo family? Of course not. It's just that my surname is Luo as well. But knowing that a family with the same surname fell into such a state makes me feel a bit emotional. That's true, unless you were from the Luo family, it's impossible for you to know what happened on the floating island. What happened on this floating island anyway? And why did it end up like this? 
This is the punishment of the Millennium Slate. A lightning as wide as the island struck it down. The whole floating island was instantly baptized with thunder. Then, what did the Luo family do to trigger the punishment of the Millennium Slate? This involves the game between the saints. We regular true gods are naturally not sure about the reason. We only know that St. Luo Xiao seemed to have betrayed the St. Hall, yet even at that time his motives were unknown. So that's how it is. Ha 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 ha. Qin Tianzi? When I was in the God Refining Forbidden Land, I fought with him for the True Essence Cultivation Platform. He used the great grand aspiration to boost himself in order to try to defeat me. How could? What is it? Do you know that man? What are you staring at him for? I don't know him, but he gives me a strange feeling. I've felt this feeling somewhere before, but I can't remember where. Is that an old acquaintance of yours? Ah? Uh, I don't know him. I just wonder why he kept staring at me. That's the prince of the Qin family. He was badly injured in a fight in the god refining forbidden land, used the great grand aspiration. It is said the brat who hurt him was still a secondary begins from a universe. They still search for him until this day. Even the Qin family's saint can't seem to find him. This this young master has entered the god refining forbidden land. Shouldn't he be a certified god martial artist? And since he used the great grand aspiration, how did he manage to break through and step into the true god realm? No one can avoid the prohibition of the great grand aspiration, and Tianzi is considered a very the Qin family. The Qin family sank grand aspiration, but it was one to completely solve it. They'll have to find that secondary being. Lost to a secondary being, searching for him will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Fortunately, the Qin family sink has temporarily blocked the great grand aspiration. If not, even if I had changed my whole appearance, he would have recognized me through the great grand aspiration. The Han family, we are here. You entered the Han family's floating island because of the purple ink physique, so I will take you to the purple soul palace first. But I don't have the purple ink physique, I am aware. But for me, if you can cultivate the purple chi divine Dao, then you must have the purple ink physique. All right. Purple soul palace. Senior sisters. Come. Elder sister Ming has brought us a little junior brother. Really? A little junior brother? What? That's rare. My God, the Purple Soul Palace has not accepted male disciples for many years. I don't feel the aura of the Purple Lean physique on him. Can he really practice the Purple Chi Divine Dao? Please excuse us. These guys have always been like this. You will get used to it. Haha, <laughs> that, they don't think I'm some kind of young master, do they? Although you have yet to be accepted as a disciple, you should also be called Junior Brother. Our Purple Soul Palace's male disciples are very popular, little Junior Brother. Quickly call me Sister Qian. You're only wearing a long shirt. It's too simple. Senior Sister will make you look good. Little Brother, your bone age should be less than 100 years old, right? So young. Asterisk his actual bone age at that stage is plus 80,000 years, ever since he sat in that refinery in the God Refining Forbidden Land. All right, everyone, little brother has just entered the floating island. He was exhausted by the boat ride. Let's settle him down first. Don't make a fuss, Luo Tianqing. I'll take you to your place. Okay. If all saints have their own floating island, then Master Gu Bei should have his own floating island too. I haven't seen the Gu family's floating island on our way here. Why is that? He, he although the Gu family's power is not Hugh's, Gu Bei himself is great. He may also have only accepted two disciples, but they are top tier great perfection true gods. So the Gu family's floating island ranking must be above the Han family. I see, but I still don't know the names of my two senior brothers. Huh? You don't even know about Jing Wu Huan and Yu Shen Fong? He, I really don't know. I once met the second elder brother in the true road back at the Immortal Mansion. I only knew his nickname Xianan and didn't know his original name. Although Sui Bei was made a saint, the saint's descendants did not prosper, the Gu family lineage is sparse, but the two disciples he received are quite powerful. Especially first senior brother Jing Wu Huan, there's a possibility he'll be sealed as saint in the future. 
with such people covering the time see, he, he, they're basically living large. Although the two senior brothers are very powerful, I have to face Muhaiji, even the entire St. Hall. At this stage, if I show up casually, I'm afraid they won't be able to help me. There's one more thing I want to ask you. What exactly is the purpose of the God Marshal coins? I remember you said it had the power to control the entire God domain. Yes. Because it has something to do with the slate. Then what's the relation between them? It's simple. Whether you change the rules on the slate or write new ones, you need God Marshal coins. The ink used for writing is made with the God Marshal coins. The Divine Marshal ink is made from the God Marshal coins, and with it you can write the rules of the entire Gu domain. No wonder God Marshal coins are so valuable. In this way, all the great giants will also collect God Marshal coins and make rules that benefit their own families. It's not right. If I have enough God Marshal coins to write a rule on the slate, that rule saying that the entire God domain is prohibited from striking me, then not even the saints can touch MEP. Haha, <laughs> why don't you just write, kill everyone in the St. Hall, and you'll be done already? The cost of writing such a rule on the slate is astronomical. Even if you combine the God Marshal coins from all the saints, you wouldn't have enough to do so. I understand now, depending on the rule, the amount of God Marshal coins needed is different. Then where does the God Marshal coins come from? It doesn't look like a mineral you can dig up. The God Marshal coins come from the different forbidden lands in the God domain. The Forbidden Lands are the most special places here. In the Forbidden Lands, there are all kinds of rare treasures and rare materials, in addition to the God Marshal coins. It was lucky enough to go through the Soul Wasteland and come back with a good amount of God Marshal coins, which were equivalent to a few God Era's worth of work. Asterisk the Soul Wasteland is one of the Forbidden Lands. Nowadays, basically all the entrances to the Forbidden Lands are controlled by the Saints. If you want to set your hands on these rare resources and coins, you must fight for them on the floating island. This is my reason for you to join a floating island. Understood. Now that I've arrived at the floating island, it's time to start planning for the next step. The far east of God's domain. Where is the Jade Bone City? The entire Jade Bone God City had been destroyed. What the hell has happened? We might know when we find the commandment slate of this god city. Wait. Let's first observe. We still don't know what force made the city fall. No need. Come on. TSK. Tianjin, aren't you afraid of being punished for acting without permission on your first mission? No. Tianjin. We'll report this when we return to the Lu clan. That kid is a bit strange. Let's just follow him. Whoosh whoosh. It should be this way. They're coming out soon. I need to hurry. Russell, Russell. According to my estimates, this should be the center of the God City. Hmm? I found it. Crack. Whiz, whiz. Too bad it's only a Ten Commandments slate. Crack. Ah. Ah. Tianjin, our brothers out there are. What are you doing? Eating the slate. Want some? What the hell are you? It doesn't matter who I am, you can't go back anyway. Ah. Uh, from a whole point of view, you died for this battered boat. Who is it? Help, help me. Papa little girl? How could she avoid my senses? A high-level breath restraining technique? Or did she use a special treasure that helps her restrain her breath? Help me, please. This thin layer on her body must be a rare treasure. Who is this person? Did you see it? No, I didn't see anything. You are lying. I can't save you. Goodbye. Master Hua is dead. My bodyguard is dead. I will also die. Russell, Russell, Russell. I don't want to die yet. I will really die here. Snap. You want to save me? Do you want to die now? But I saw, saw you devouring the commandment slate. You are honest this time. Hold on tight. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. What's your name? Dongfang Ying Going. Are you from the main Dongfang clan? Or from a branch family? A branch. 
Although I thought she should be from an influential clan, I didn't expect her to be from the Dongfam clan. If so, you want to kill me because I'm from the Dongfam clan, right? Yes. I don't know what kind of grievance the Dongfam clan has with you, but I'll do a heart demon oath. I will never do anything wrong to you. I will not resist and will not reveal your secret. I can follow you and help you, okay? Hayes, make a heart demon oath. Okay. I devoured the slate. This is not the first time, and it won't be the last time. Next time when you're in danger, I won't save you, so mind your own business. Okay. Did you cultivate by devouring the slate? That's amazing. Does it taste good? The young lady from the Dongfam family, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing to carry her along the way. The next day, Purple Soul Palace Dream Pavilion. We are here. Grandma Yuing has something to say. You know her temper, so be quiet. Strange, why are these women so scared? Yesterday, Han Meng said that everyone in the Purple Soul Palace is equal, except for Han Juvi. So who is this Grandma Yuying? Grandma Yuying. You are the one who is appointed by the Master. Why can't I feel the aura of the extreme purple ink physique from you? I do not have the extreme purple ink physique. You don't have the extreme purple ink physique. Then why did the Master appoint you into the Purple Soul Palace? Because I can cultivate the Purple Chi Divine Dao. Let me see. Buzz. Hmm, well, I don't know how you did it. But since you've been allowed to join the Purple Soul Palace, you are one of us now. Take it. This is the token of the Han Clan. You can do nothing without it on the floating island, so don't lose it. Okay, thank you. Those who rank in the bottom 300 this month stand out now. Grandma Yuying, please forgive us. We will strive to perform better next month. Rules are rules. What you say to me is useless. Pop. Ah, ah, ah. This, what does it mean to be in the bottom 300 this month? Perhaps they didn't complete a certain task. Bring the medicine here. Swallow these blood flesh pills to heal your wounds. These three women are obviously injured, but are refusing to swallow the pills. What is going on? She is really cunning. The blood flesh restoring pill is terrific for restoring flesh, curing wounds, and improving the overall physical strength of the body. However, it is extremely painful to swallow, so it's generally used to punish subordinates that aren't obedient. Ah, Luo Tianqing, do you know why the three of them are being punished? I don't know. According to the rules of the floating island, everyone who enters, whether the stronger ones at the great perfection toke god realm of the weaker ones such as the certified god martial artist, must have at least three matches with other warriors at the Jade Wall of Legends every month. Anyone who ranks in the bottom 300 must receive the accorded punishment. Matches in the Jade Wall of Legends? What's that? You'll know it soon enough. Everyone, come with me. Master Evil, have you ever heard of Jade Wall of Legends? I have, but I'm not very familiar with it. I think it determines the rankings of the Floating Islands, but I can't be too sure. The Floating Islands ranking? Shouldn't this be determined through the Saints? If the Jade Wall of Legends determines the rankings, then how can they allow us to participate? How would I know? Let's see. Buzz. Buzz. Fan Hinchao. Tan Zwan. Mui Shuerong. These are the first class characters in God's domain. I see the names of my senior brothers. Is it possible that the Jade Wall of Legends is only a list of people's strength? It's not that simple. Look at the dense names at the bottom. Some of them seem to be constantly changing. It should be a real time record of everyone's level of strength. But how does it measure the strength? I don't know. A fight? Master said that the genius especially recommended by the Heavenly Han House does not need to be examined by the Purple Soul Palace. I have my own doubts though. If you can't even defeat the weakest opponent, I will tell my master and kick you out of the floating island. Where am I going to find my opponent? Your opponents? There are too many of them. But here in the Jade Wall of Legends, you can choose them at will. But how do I find my opponent? 
Just put the jade token I gave to you in front of the jade wall of legends. Buzz buzz. Luo Tianqing number of fights 0.0. .0. What? This light is familiar. When I entered the dream battlefield, I was also enveloped by such a light. Sure enough, the purpose of the Jade Wall of Legends is the same as the dream battlefield. This is to project all cultivators into an illusory world to compete with each other. So this is how the ranking is determined. I wonder who will be the first opponent that I meet. Buzz Buzz. Tang Yu, from the Tang Clan, Certified God Martial Artist. It seems that when you enter the arena, you can know the name of the opponent and the clan he belongs to. Is it also your first time to enter the Arena of Legends? According to the rules of the Arena of Legends, the opponent for me should also be a newcomer to this arena. Then you really are unlucky. Why? Because I'll definitely defeat you in your first fight. Remember my name. My name is Tang Yu. I'm from one of the top 10 floating islands and son of a sub-saint. You should be greatly honored to fight me. Oh? Is it so? Buzz. Soul attack? So stupid, what? I can't move my body? How did his soul attack slow down my reactions? Bang. Swish. Cough, cough. You are, you've lost? Tan Lan Sub Saint, Tang Jiancho. How could you or with his young fire physique be defeated by somebody with the same cultivation? Did he let his opponent go on purpose or did he meet a talent from another big clan? You were, what kind of opponent did you encounter? Why did you lose the first match? Father, it was my bad luck. I panned into a monster in my very first round. He was so quick that he made a move before I could even activate my young fire physique. Also, his soul is incredibly strong. In fact, it seems to be even stronger than those of ordinary low rank true gods. What? The soul of a certified god martial artist is comparable to a true god? Which clan is he from? Is he really that talented? A strong soul alone is not enough to defeat you. Both speed and strength are far beyond the realm of a certified god martial artist. He defeated me with just one move. He didn't use any martial art or divine Tao. I suspect that he must have cheated. I dare say he's a true god. It's not just that he has a strong soul. You or should not be discouraged. Since ancient times, no one has been able to win every match in the arena of legends, draw lessons from this defeat, and be prepared for the next fight. What is the name of the opponent you faced? Which clan does he belong to? That guy's name is Luo Tianqing, from the Han clan. His surname is Luo? You say he is from the Han clan, but he has a different surname. It's the first time that he has stepped into the arena of legends. It seems that he didn't grow up on the floating island. What is the origin of such a powerful martial artist? I'm glad to say that I won my first match. It was just luck. You faced an opponent that also stepped into the arena of legends for the first time. He was too weak to be your opponent, so it doesn't count. He was indeed too weak. Go and fight again. You must win five consecutive rounds to prove your strength. Yes. Huh? There are strong and weak opponents in the arena of legends, so it's too difficult to win five games in a row. I think Grandma Yu Ying is just trying to make things difficult for Junior Brother. Buzz. Erg. Bang. You. You're much weaker than my first opponent. The disciples of the wealthy clans are far inferior to what I have imagined. By the way, aura doesn't come from your mouth. It's a reflection of your strength. Bang. Ah. Buzz. Look guys, Luo Tianqing has won three matches in a row. He has 12 points. Moreover, he only took a few breaths to defeat his opponent each time. The first time was 20 breaths. The second time was 9 breaths. The third time was only 6 breaths. Incredible. He won two more matches as we spoke. I have completed the five fights that you requested, so please give me further instructions. No more fights. You've passed my test. You can enter the arena of legends on your own. Yes. 
I originally thought that if you didn't have a purple extreme in physique, then knowing purple chi divine Tao is just fish in troubled waters, but now I understand why the master personal L.Y. sent Han Meng. She definitely has an eye for exceptional individuals. Luo Tianqing, you were outstanding today. This palace is for all the disciples to cultivate. If you face any challenges in your cultivation, feel free to ask anyone in the Purple Soul Palace. If you have time, I suggest you come here more often and earn more points in the Arena of Legends. Are there any benefits to earning points? Benefits of earning points? Don't you know that the statuses of all of the floating islands on the Time Sea and all of the clans are decided by the Jade Wall of Legends? In addition, if you have enough points, you can also enter the Forbidden Lands, but in your current situation, it is not suitable to go there. But if you want to learn more, you can go to the floating island of the Saint Emperor City to see. So these points are needed for the Forbidden Lands? I understand. Saint Emperor City. Square for Forbidden Land Missions. Calling three low rank true gods, asking for 500 points, we will enter the demon extinguishing forest together. Demon extinguishing forest, the world is so unfair that these guys can enter the demon extinguishing forest at will. What is the demon extinguishing forest? It's a second grade forbidden land, but it's very small. In the past, before the demon extinguishing forest was controlled by the wealthy clans on the floating islands, many ordinary true gods would enter it. Alas, second grade forbidden land? Will it be dangerous there? It is not very dangerous. The forbidden lands in God's domain are divided from first to sixth grade according to the degree of danger. The poor great forbidden places are sixth grades and they were equally considered to be the most dangerous places in God's domain. Soul Desolate Thoughtless Spirit Mountain Whirlpool Forest Abyss Demon Territory I see, I didn't expect that the Whirlpool Forest is also one of the four great forbidden lands, and you all actually managed to escape from it. Sway Bay's immortal mansion is not too deep into Whirlpool Forest, and that day those ominous creatures were rushing like mad to the immortal mansion, so we took the opportunity to escape. During this period of time, nobody should go to the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain. The Jiang Clan and Yu Tai Bai are fighting in the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain. You should be careful. Yu Tai Bai? The one who took Luo Yin away. Hey friend, what's happening in the fight between Yu Tai Bai and the Jiang clan? Can you tell me the details? My cultivation base isn't important. Just tell me more about what you just said. What's a certified god martial artist doing here? Scram. A mere certified god martial artist doesn't have the qualifications to know this. Leave here and go cultivate. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Tell me about the battle between YL Tai Bai and the Jiang clan, and these will be yours. So if I tell you about them, all these gods' martial coins will be mine. Isn't this just about you Tai Bai and the Jian clan? I know about it too. Let me tell you. Currently Yu Tai Bai is in control of the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain, which has given him enough capital to even fight back against saints. A few days ago he led his men to fight the Jian clan. This is public news. Don't listen to them, they don't know the inside story. I have first-hand news. All right, take these. Let's find a quiet place to talk. Is that brat stupid? This is just worthless information, but he's willing to spend hundreds of God's martial coins. It's pity that he didn't come to me. All right, talk. I'm curious, you're just a certified God martial artist, but where did you get so many gods' martial coins? Are you a member of the Han clan? I see. The reason I had to sneak into the gods' domain was to avoid the supervision of the Mu clan. And if Jian Yuer hadn't returned to gods' domain, we wouldn't have succeeded in sneaking in. Looks like Yu Tai Bai has been helping us. Yu Tai Bai actually dared to attack the Jian clan. Is his current strength enough to fight back against Jian clan saints? Even Luo Xiao has suffered grievous injuries, but hasn't died. In terms of true strength, he is naturally inferior to a saint. After all, a saint is created in universe. If the universe isn't destroyed, then the saint won't die. So, if Jian clan saints attack him, won't Yu Tai Bai be powerless? 
Do you really not know, or are you pretending not to know? Luo Zhang, if Yu Taibai really controls the thoughtless spirit mountain, then he won't be afraid of saints. It's the same as Xu Xiaoqiao, she is able to control the soul desolate. Which is why she isn't afraid of saints. Xu Xiaoqiao? It's the woman from the second floor of the dungeon prison. Since she obtained the saint silencing soul scepter in the soul desolate and obtained its control, even saints stopped being arrogant in front of her. At that time, many saints wanted to subdue her. Shi Xiaoqiao launched the saint silencing soul scepter and the saints discovered that the connection between them and their inner universe had disappeared for a breath. A breadth of time isn't that long, but it's enough for a killing strike, especially in a battle between saints. I see, as you said, Yu Taibai isn't afraid of saints, then why did the Jiang clan still trouble him? That's the thing. Other people only know the news on the surface. But as far as I know, although Yu Taibai has been controlling the thoughtless spirit mountain for many years, he hasn't gained full control. After the Jiang clan heard this news, they fought with Yu Taibai. Otherwise, when Yu Taibai gains complete control over the thoughtless spirit mountain, then the Jiang clan wouldn't be able to deal with him anymore. If this goes on, then not only Yu Taibai, but the descendants of the Luo clan who follow him will also die. What? It's normal. It doesn't end well to fight against the numerous Saint Hall. When the Luo clan was defeated, Yu Taibai should have joined another clan. With his talent, he might have become a saint. But look where he is ended up now. I better go there as soon as possible to help Yu Taibai. How many points do I need to enter the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain? Even a mid-rank true god like me can only travel in the outskirts of the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain. We don't dare go deeper. As for you, you should focus on your cultivation first. Thoughtless Spirit Mountain is a sixth grade forbidden land. Entering it requires 8,000 points. It seems I need to quickly score some points. I should go back to the Purple Soul Palace first. Han Jiui, this time it's your Purple Soul Palace that's dragging our feet yet again. If this continues, I am afraid that our Han clan's floating island ranking will drop two places in a row. Han clan's patriarch Han Tensiao. What's the big deal if it drops? Sub Saint Han Jiui. If we really fall out of the top 10 on the floating island ranking, then we will lose a lot of opportunities for our clan. How can you just say what's the big deal? Even so, there is nothing I can do about the Purple Soul Palace. There aren't many people who have the extreme purple ink physique, and their talents also vary. It is not practical to expect Purple Soul Palace to earn more points. No, there is a way. Expel all the certified God Martial Artists from the Purple Soul Palace, also expel 80% of the low rank true gods. In this way, we will be able to bring up the overall points of the whole floating island. How dare you want to expel my Purple Soul Palace's disciples? This request is not possible. This is the order of the Saint Emperor, if you have any objections, so ask the Saint Emperor for reconsideration. This is directly related to the floating island's ranking. So even if you personally plead for mercy, it's useless. Otherwise you have to improve the overall points of the Purple Soul Hall in three months, that is until the floating island's point calculation. The Saint Emperor said this? I will go find him myself. Swish. Patriarch, wouldn't it be too much to expel 80% of the true god disciples from the Purple Soul Palace? Shouldn't we wait? We can't wait. The Saint Emperor has a new plan. And we must maintain the ranking within 10. One hour later. What's so important that Han Jiliai has to call everyone here? It can't be that. I heard that. That's Sub Saint Han Jui? Hayes, it looks like you all know. The majority of you will have to leave in three months. All the certified god martial artists must leave. Even if they are true gods, 80% of them will be expelled. Although I tried to argue with the saint emperor, it was useless. What? I just joined the purple soul palace, and now I'm going to be expelled? If I was a true god, then I could have stayed with my strength. But now I don't even have a chance. Master, I would like to know how to make our Purple Soul Palace survive this catastrophe. 
Are you the one who Han Ming brought back from the ancestral land not long ago? Yes, my name is Luo Tianqing. There is a way, according to my calculations, in just three months each of you have to win an average of four matches in the Arena of Legends. Can you do it? This, it's possible for a genius to win four matches in a row, but it's almost impossible for everyone to do it, especially the bad ones like me, A's, what if we can do it? Will everyone be able to stay in the Purple Soul Palace? Theoretically, if we can raise that many points, then everyone can stay in the Purple Soul Palace. This new kid has absolutely no idea how difficult it is to have everyone here win four matches in a row. Ignorant people are indeed fearless. Everyone. There are still three months to go. Why don't we strive towards this goal? Let's give it a try. There's a very small chance, but I'm not willing to give it up. There's still time. We can work hard. Since you all have such a fighting spirit, I will also accompany you. I declare that the Purple Soul Palace has entered a special period, and it will give its disciples unlimited support throughout such a time. Great. This Luo Tianqing, although he's a little self-confident, he still has some potential which can inspire the fighting spirit of so many disciples. But why is his temperament so close to that man? A few days later. I won another battle today, so I have two wins in a row. Be careful. Once you've won two wins in a row, the opponent you meet in the next round won't be nearly as weak. What's wrong? Well, I know, but the points are also more. What? Look, Luo Tianqing has won 26 matches in a row without losing a single match. His points are already more than 2,200. This junior brother is indeed very powerful. But these points won't last. He hasn't lost yet and his points are all because of his consecutive wins. Once he loses a battle, he will lose most of his points and he will be ranked pretty poorly. I'm curious about how many more battles he will win in a row. I'm sure the opponents at this point are the best of the best. This, he's in again, whoosh. 26 wins in a row? Over 2,000 points? Ha ha ha. If I win, my points will double for sure, right? Mu Chen? You're a member of the Mu clan? Humph, I'm curious, since you have won 26 matches in a row, why don't you know me? I know now. Good to know. What blind confidence, it seems you are no better than that. Swish. Silver Scale Slash. This move is a fighting technique created by the Saint Emperor himself, and this pair of short swords, white fur and silver scale, are supreme primordial weapons that the Saint Emperor personally created for me. Swish. Clank clank. How is it possible? These are supreme primordial weapons. Bang. Crack. The power, this tearing power, how is it possible? Whoosh. What the hell, another win. 27 wins in a row. I didn't expect you to win so many matches in a row. If you can win that many points, the person with the highest score will have first pick of the Purple Soul Palace rewards. Thank you, Sub Saint. By the way, if you win 30 matches in a row and obtain more than 3,000 points, you should then reach the threshold for the Han Clan's rewards. You can visit the Saint Emperor City to see. I see. The Crystal Moor Mirror. I've been dreaming of possessing such a treasure. I didn't expect the Han clan to be willing to take it out as a reward. Have the rules of the floating islands changed? The Han clan didn't pay that much attention to rankings before. These treasures are powerful, but they are of limited help to me now. I wonder if there is something more suitable for me, huh? This bronze lion gives me a feeling similar to the mud. To be precise, it should be the tray under the bronze lion. After coming out of the mysterious cave of the Tai family, I haven't seen that kind of mud again, but I didn't expect to see it here today. Sir, may I know the requirements to get this year's rewards? For example, the bronze lion statue at the top, bronze lion statue? Oh, you mean the golden beast statue? Those five treasures are only for the disciples of the main Han clan. Ordinary people don't have the qualifications to obtain them. Whether or not you're qualified, you need a fair rule, right? You're a certified god martial artist, you'd better look at the rewards below. 
The 30 treasures below need you to add 15,000 points in 3 months. And the 5 treasures above need 50,000. As a certified God Martial Artist, if you want to get one of the 5 treasures above, you need to win about 15,000 battles. In particular, the Golden Beast statue in the middle requires not only 50,000 points, but also the first place in the accumulated points of the past 3 months to be eligible for it. I see. Although this amount of points is really scary, if the winning streak continues, there is still a chance for me to obtain it. Besides, my original goal is to obtain the highest points. Excuse me. Sister, sister, look. This time, Father finally agreed to take out the precious golden beast statue. What? This voice, they're Han Liu Su and Han Chu Yu. Princess Royal is coming. Miscellaneous people, leave the hall. Although I've been disguised, it's still better to avoid them if possible, Luo Tianqing. Wait a minute. It's the girl that used the veto token to save me during the Heavenly Han House examination. I told you I didn't make it up. There is a peerless genius in the Heavenly Han House and that he will come to our floating island sooner or later. Still can't avoid them, Luo Tianqing. Now that you've passed the great examination of the Heavenly Han House, why didn't anyone from the Saint Emperor City pick you up? I didn't join the Saint Emperor City. I joined the Purple Soul Palace. How did you join the Purple Soul Palace? From what I've heard, even the very few men in the Purple Soul Hall have womanly ways. That's right. You don't have an extreme purpleine physique. How can you join the Purple Soul Palace? Haha, uh -huh. I don't have an extreme purpleine physique, but I'm acknowledged by the Purple Chi Divine Dao Tablet. Swoosh. The Purple Chi Divine Dao is all about feminine aura. Only those who have controlled the latter can actually master this technique with skill. You can't comprehend this thing at all, and yet you've specifically managed to comprehend the internal potential contained in the purple or a godly way. Tell us, how did you do that? I'm sorry that I can't tell you. How dare you refuse to answer the princess's question? I may have joined the Han clan's floating island, but that doesn't mean I'm a slave here, right? You! What audacity! Stop it, Uncle Gong! Lo Tianqing, although this person's temperament and appearance are very different from Lo Zhang, but my intuition tells me that only Luo Zhang would do this kind of thing. And he's pretending not to know me. Maybe I should try it out, Chuao. Didn't Bilio say that there is a certified god atrial artist who must be stronger than you? Huh? Oh, right. Bilio, didn't you brag about this guy's strength every day? You said he was stronger than me? There's an opportunity now. Hurry up and compete. Aze, I'm unlucky. I'm afraid that Han Liosu has noticed something. Outsiders are prohibited from entering here. Whoever you are, leave now. What did you say? I can't hear you. Is Brother you an outsider? A servant like you is an outsider. This fellow, I advise you not to interfere in young people's affairs. I just want to protect my princesses. Our young master can't be hurt either. Don't force us to do anything. Leave the matter to them. If they make a scene, there will be people above them to solve it. Anyone who tries to get involved will only be smashed to pieces. Do you understand? Why are you here? Don't treat us as outsiders. You and you are engaged. You're his fiancée. I don't think it's a big deal for him to see his wife. Don't you agree with me? Liu Su, we meet again. Lang Lin Yu. This man is not suitable to be my husband. My father insisted that I marry into the Lang clan, completely ignoring my thoughts. When I didn't attend the engagement, father had me grounded. Is my happiness so insignificant? Get the hell out of here. Yes, don't come here. Two little girls, get out of the way. The girls of the Han clan are really beautiful. The two girls might become more beautiful than their sister when they grow up. You can also ask your father to come here to propose marriage, can't you? You. Pop. Help. She's trying to kill me. How could a daughter of the Han clan try to kill someone without saying a word? That's outrageous. She's ranked second among the certified god martial artists. 
Lu Chengtian. Broken. Phew, finally I'm saved. It's been only a few days since the last time we met, but you have great potential by reaching such a high level. I think you are now capable of challenging an ordinary true god. If you don't mind, I, Lu Chengtian, will have a sparring session with you today. Lu Chengtian. After all, you are in the top 50 of the low-ranked true gods in the arena of legends. How dare you want to fight with my sister, a certified god martial artist? What are your intentions? Chuile is a little bad-tempered, and it's not a bad thing for her to spar with Lu Chengtian. Lu Chengtian has a sense of propriety and might drive some sense into her. A sparring session? What a joke. Get out of the way. You are not supposed to talk to me with that tone, but I still find it appealing. The wind flute is playing on a bright moonlit night. How dare you bully my sister? I'm not finished with you. Both Han Liosu and Han Chu Yu have had a friendship with me, and Han Bilyuo has also been a benefactor to me. I can't bear to see them being bullied by these guys like this. Swish. Pop, pop. Where is this guy from? I just noticed him. You dare to intervene? Courting death. This is the poisonous fire created by elementary fire divine Dao. Whoosh. Rise. Rumble. Chirp, chirp. Ah. Who is that guy that used for divine Dao in a row? He's even using the purple chi divine Dao. But he's not a female. It is quite time-consuming to cultivate several kinds of divine Dao at the same time. And he is bitten more than he can chew. This guy is unique. If he can unite several divine Dao together, he could have a miraculous effect. With his cultivation base, he can use several kinds of divine Dao to this level. His talent must also be excellent. Is he really not Luo Zhang? If not, why is he helping us? Whoosh. Ah. This is the sixth divine Dao. This guy is a bit extraordinary. I know plenty of extraordinary people, but I never heard of this person in the Han clan before. Good job, but you can't do this. Watch me kill him. Swish. Damn, this brat keeps playing with me. I'll let you taste the power of my Lu family's supreme chaotic weapon. Crack. Buzz. No good. Lu Chengtian is coming here. When he gets angry, he loses control. Everyone, move back quickly. Whoosh. It's the chaotic energies poisoned from the cannon saint flute. Run away. Why is he not afraid of the chaotic energies poison coming from the cannon saint flute? Only my Lu clan has the antidote for this. Even middle rank true gods would instantly die from touching it. He is just a certified god martial artist. Does he have a secret method to deal with it and thus is not afraid of it? Brother Lu, stop releasing the poison. If you do it again, we'll all be dead. The poison doesn't seem to work on this brat, so I might as well stop it. I'll get a lot of scolding from the elders if I kill innocent people. Since the supreme chaotic weapon is useless against you, then I will defeat you with my own power. Whoosh. That's potential. Potential is to use the internal world's power of faith. If you have a divine spark, then you can use the power of faith in your internal world to the extreme. It is even more powerful when combined with divine Tao. This guy is using potential, but I'm not seeing any divine Tao at all. Is he trying to defeat me with his potential alone? Little Brett, don't be a hero if you don't have the strength. You don't get the chance to regret your actions, though my warning has come too late. Alas, whoosh. Swish. No good. Luo Tianqing will be torn apart by him. Little brat? You're not qualified to call me that. The power of nine stars. Clank. Thud. Boom. How can a certified god martial artist defeat somebody that's ranked within the top 50 of the low-ranked true good? Although it is common for a low-ranked true god to challenge a middle-ranked true sod, but a certified god martial artist hasn't formed the divine spark yet. This kind of power just now, this person is most likely Luo Zhang. But I can't seem to find decisive evidence. He, I told you so. Is he stronger than the guy you mentioned? What? No, he's just mediocre. 
Now that Luo Tianqing has arrived at the floating island, I'll ask father to transfer him from the Purple Soul Palace tomorrow. Such a talent should be used by our clan, but I'm afraid he's in great trouble now. A strong warrior like you hasn't yet appeared on the rankings. I wonder how the Han clan could let that happen. What is your name? My name is Luo Tianqing. Here comes another one. I really can't get out of it. Why haven't the elders of the Han clan come over yet, surname Luo? It's not easy for outsiders to cultivate to such a level. But you dare to seriously injure Lu Qingtian. Your life has come to an end. The relationship between the two families has always been close. Perhaps he will kill the boy in a fit of rage. He is just an outsider. Even if he is talented, the Han clan won't care. Ding. Eight tunes flying smoke. So strong. No. Not good. It's this move. I've only seen Luo Zheng use this. He is really Luo Zheng. But Luo Zheng is not Xie Ju's opponent. The only way to save Luo Zheng now is to message Uncle Gong. Hiss. Just a small trick. Heavenly Ring Divine Dao. Ting Ting. Swoosh. Cute. In the universe of Great Expanse, everything is lighter and thinner than in God's domain. There is no particular pressure, so it is more flexible. But in God's domain, the effect of the eight tunes flying smoke is greatly reduced. Whoosh whoosh. He is much faster than me. I can't continue like this. The only thing you can do now is to fight with my full strength. Where to run? Swish. Bam. This person is that powerful? How dare he stop my high speed move? You want me to crash into you? And then use your confident strength to overpower me? I'm not easily fooled. Whoosh. Buzz buzz. Swish. Hee hee, this guy is still too naive to think that he can catch me this method. Those three sword strokes just now were to force you to distance yourself from me. Next time you will not have this chance. Bam. What's going on? How did Sieju get pinned to the ground? It's like an invisible force is holding him down. This guy can control the power at will. Could it be that he has cultivated strength divine Dao to a high level? Or did he perhaps use cross world divine ability? Only a saint can rise cross world divine ability. Buzz. Bang bang. Pop. I didn't intend to offend you here today, but these girls of the Han clan are my old acquaintances, so I have to step out and help them. If you want to try my strength, I am willing to spar with you inside the Jade Wall of Legends. But if anyone wants to kill me here, I'm afraid that this guy will have to join me in hell. There is no end to entanglement with them here. Even if Xie Ju is defeated, others will come out. This is the only way for me to stabilize the situation. Brett, do you know who you are stepping on? Of course, he's just a member of Xie Clan. You only know his surname is Xie but you don't know that he is the grandson of St. Siafantian. Do you know what will happen if you kill him? If I do not kill him today, you can let me GOP just now this Sieju fought without showing any mercy. He has repeatedly tried to kill me, so why can't I kill him? If you say his life is valuable, then I will make a profit by exchanging his life for another life. This kid is too ruthless. If he really continues to attack him, he may really kill Sieju. If Sieju dies, we will also be implicated. Not only will we be admonished, but we'll also be grounded by the clans. It's not worth it. Indeed, he's someone I admire. As long as the stalemate continues, there is a chance that the Han clan's help will arrive. Humph. She's obviously my fiancé, but she is only keeping her eyes on this brat. What a disgrace. This outsider must die. I've seen a lot of people who look tough in the outside, but actually turn out to be cowards. Do you want to exchange your life with his? Do you dare? That brat is crazy. You shouldn't bother with him. Don't provoke him. Just let the matter go, okay? This kind of person probably had a hard time climbing up from the bottom of society. I'm pretty sure he won't have the guts to push through with this and risk losing everything. If he really dares to kill Sia Ju, the Sia clan won't forgive him, he will also lose his life. 
but if he just looks fierce on the outside, but actually doesn't dare to attack, then. Some people are so arrogant that they think they can read other people's minds. Crack. How dare you? Bang. Boom. Ah. Oh no, Lang Lin Yu forced Luo Zhang to kill Xie Ju. This is like putting Luo Zhang to death. One after another, so annoying. I'll strike first. Swish. Bam. Here he comes. Swish. Interesting, good fighting instincts. Buzz. But can you avoid it every time? Bang. Swoosh. Strike. 80% of my strength source can still hurt him, unfortunately. Brother Yu has been injured. How is this possible? The pinnacle of a middle rank true god was injured by a certified god martial artist. It's incredible. This guy just used his strength source to create an invisible sword. If I hadn't been alert enough, I would have been killed. It's time to get serious. It looks like I should make you die a painful death. Whoosh. Swoosh. Swish. Huh? It didn't shred him in two? The clothing is. Terrifying power. Luckily, I have the concentric clothes. Otherwise, that claw might have torn me into pieces. Flying red divine glow down. Swoosh. Swish. Bam. Flying red divine glow up. Bang. I was just injured by such a cricket. How ridiculous. Go to hell. Let him go. He killed CK, so he must die. You know that very well. Even if I let him go, he will still die. Then there's no need for you to execute him. What if I insist on killing him? Sizzle. If you want to kill him, you'll have to go through me first. Her blue heavenly flame today is much more powerful than before. It is said that all the beings in her inner world are monsters that can survive in the blue heavenly flame. Her divine spark is also different from normal divine sparks. She is unique. That's why she was chosen by my father as a marriage candidate. In order to stop me, my fiancé is even willing to fight me, and it is for another man. How could you do this to me for an outsider, a nobody from grassroots? You're my fiancé. Your name is Lang Lin Yu, right? What do you want to say? We've met only a few times. Although my father has arranged the engagement for me, he's never asked for my consent. We're not even friends. How dare you say that I'm your fiancé? Do you not have any shame? If there is a day that I have to marry you, I will end my life before the marriage. You. Why did brother you suddenly become enraged? Things have become more complicated. The guards are preparing for battle. Everyone. Everyone, although we are guarding our own clans, there are some things I must make clear. If this guy intends to hurt our princess, I will definitely kill him. If you try to stop me, be ready to face the anger of the Han clan. Don't forget what kind of person I, Lang Lin Yu, am. I will never be stuck with one woman. Let me tell you, it is an established fact that the Lens clan and the Han clan will unite by marriage. You can die if you want. But then there is still your sister. If your sister dies, then there will still be your cousin. How can this man talk like this? Does he think that we're his playthings? That's right. I don't want to talk about this with you today, but the man behind you must die. You can try, but I will fight with you. A's, to cause this kind of trouble, although it was for Han Chu Yu, Han Liu Su is protecting me like this. Has she realized who I am? Buzz. Swoosh. Strange, why is she embracing this brat whilst releasing her heavenly flame? Her heavenly flame can burn everything. Wouldn't that brat also be burned to death? Ah, if she keeps doing this, she will burn Luo Tianqing to death. Yes, it's so strange. Even we dare not go near our sister's heavenly flame. Liu Su, enough. If you don't stop the fire, I will extinguish it forcefully. It's really you. Why did you have to change your face and identity in the Han clan's floating island? Why didn't you look for me? Were you afraid that I would betray you? No, I'm just afraid you'll be implicated. If I were to be involved, I would be in a much better place than the one I am in right now. 
Is it going to keep burning? I'd like to see what you're doing in there. Go. Swoosh you too. This Luo Tianqing is not afraid of our sister's heavenly flame. Sister, she must have already known. This person, could it be him? Who is this person? Sister once said, only Luo Zhang is not afraid of her heavenly flame. Is it possible that this person is Luo Zhang? But it does not look like him at all. Has he and sister intentionally been hiding something? Huh, to let a woman protect you, and it's even someone else woman, this is the first time that I, Lang Lin Yu, have seen such a shameless man. But the world is fair, if you put your hopes on others, you will often be disappointed. Go to hell, dancing wind. Don't come any closer. You haven't married into my clan yet, but still you will be punished according to my clan's rules. This slap is to show you what it means to be a husband. Pop. Bam. You disgusting animal. Buzz. I just went to a forbidden land for a while, and you all acted wildly in my territory. Do you think the Han clan is weak? Brother. You're back. The wound caused by the dancing wind. How dare you, Ling Lin Yu. Han Sung Yin. Do you know what your sister has done? I don't care what my sister has done. Whoever dares to hit her, he or she must be prepared to face the consequences. Han Sung Yin, there is a reasonable explanation for everything. Our Lang Clan. Bang. Buzz Buzz. Did it work? Bam. I don't know or even care what the rules are. Whoever dares to touch my family must ask himself if he has the strength to face my wrath. Han Sung Yin, your clan is at the mercy of our Lang Clan now. Do you really think you can have a good life after you offended our clan? You mean you have the capabilities to represent the Lang clan? Or for that matter, can that guy lying senseless on the floor represent the Lens clan? We are just juniors. Get out of the Han clan's floating island. It is true that we can't represent the Lang clan, but someone has to be responsible for Xie Ju's death. Xie Ju? Who killed him? It was him. A certified god martial artist? Who are you? My name is Luo Tianqing. You killed Xie Ju? Xie Ju was indeed killed by me. Why did you kill Xie Ju? You ask him why? Don't you know the answer to it yourself? It's not because these beasts were messing around in our house. Luo Tianqing did it for us. Brother, this is not the time to play the blame game. I know, but someone has to take responsibility for this. He shouldn't have killed Xie Ju even if he protected you by doing so. Xie Ju didn't deserve to die. According to you, Luo Tianqing should have just stood there and shouldn't have done anything? The elders only look at the result and not the process. The truth is that Xie Ju was killed by Luo Tianqing and Luo Tianqing emerged and scathed from the whole situation. Enough, I will stand by Luo Tianqing no matter what. If he dies, so will I. If he is taken away by the Xie clan and executed, then I will commit suicide. Liu Su, is it necessary to do this for a certified god martial artist? Brother, you know me well. You know that I won't budge from what I said earlier. If you try to hand over Luo Tianqing to the Xie clan, then no matter what you do or say, I would have no meaning in life. Sister, when sister was in the godly refinement land, her eyes lit up Luo Zhang. This time she to save him, I can't deal with this myself, let's ask the elders of our clan to make the decision. Bilyuo, speak with your father. Could it be that she's in love with him, okay? Han clan's floating island, spirit heart palace. Please tell me your name. Han clan's patriarch, Han Tianxiao. Luo Tianqing. Do you know why you are tied up here? I find it strange that all of you are among the best in God's domain, yet you tie me up like this? Are you afraid that I, a certified God martial artist, will escape? How dare you? How dare you be so rude to the patriarch of the Han clan? Since you've brought me here, you might want to ask me something. However, since you've made me deaf, I'm afraid that I can't hear your questions. Stop arguing. Buzz. Regenerated. You're the first one who dared to speak like this in the Spirit Heart Palace. 
Some people have been brave enough and righteous, not afraid of others' attacks, but some pretend to be calm and try to gain recognition. I wonder if you're the first type of people or the second type. It doesn't matter which I think it is. How do you deal with me? Doesn't it all depend on who you think I am? Good, then I understand. You get up. I think you know why I summoned you to the Spirit Heart Palace today. Although the Han clan doesn't pity Sia Ju's life, but if the Sia clan pursues the matter, we will have to deal with it. Although you are an outsider, our Han clan has decided to give you a chance. What will you do? Now whether it's my daughter Bill Yuo, or Liu Su and Chu Yu they all want me to save this brat. Eldest Princess Liu Su even said that if he was given to the Sia clan, that she would choose to die with him. I want to see what he can do. To be honest, if the Han clan allowed the Sia clan to take me away, I'm afraid that it might be the stupidest thing you've done since the beginning of this god's era. What? Little brat, are you out of your mind? Do you just overrate yourself? You may be talented, but we have a lot of talented disciples. There is no lack of such outsiders like you in our clan. It's a good thing to be confident, but it's ridiculous to be arrogant. That's right, you're nothing more than an informed fanatic to us. How can you be worthy of the Han clan's protection? No, I think so as well. If this young man is given to the Sia clan, I believe handing this young man over to the Sia clan must be the stupidest thing for the Han clan to do ever since the beginning of this god's era. It's Han Jiui. I wonder why you didn't go to the Arena of Legends today. Now, it turns out that you came here to rest. Come back with me. Wait. Swish. The sub sink is furious. Last time you convinced the Saint Emperor to make things difficult for my Purple Soul Palace, I endured it, but Han Tianxiao, you probably forget who I am, Han Jiui, even if the Saint Emperor were present here, I have every right to bring my disciple back sub Saint, please don't be vexed. It's just that this boy has killed a direct descendant of the Sia clan. If the Sia clan insists on prosecuting him, I would find myself in a quandary. So what if he killed a direct descendant of the Sia clan? What was the cultivation level of that direct descendant? He was a low rank true god, ranking in the top 40 in the arena of legends. He was a low rank true god and was killed by a certified god martial artist from my purple soul palace. He was no better than a loser. If the Sia clan comes to you, you can tell them to come to me for answers. This is not a reasonable statement from Han Jiui. If the Sia clan comes to the Han clan, they will find me after all. However, since I have offended her once before, I'm now afraid that I can only stand back and wait for the Sia clan to come and deal with it. Let's go. Purple Soul Palace. Swoosh. Hurt the mid-rank true god at the 5th place, Lang Lingyu, and killed the low-rank true god at the 40th place, Sia Ju. You are much more powerful than I thought. Tell me, what secret are you harboring? I was taught by a great man when I was young and had a great chance, so from a god citizen, swish. What a strong force. I can't even speak. You are quite powerful, and you also seem far too familiar with making up lies. You must have lied a lot, correct? Everyone has their secrets. If I end up revealing mine to others, it would be like losing my soul. I will not survive it. I hope you can understand. I didn't say that I won't understand. If you want to keep your secret, you need to do something else in order to prove yourself. Otherwise, there would be no meaning in bringing you back. What is it? Last time, you motivated the disciples of our Purple Soul Palace, and their rankings have risen significantly in the arena of legends, but it is far from enough. I want you to earn more points. How much more is needed? About. 1.2 million points, that is equivalent to every Purple Soul Palace disciple earning 40 points on average. If that still doesn't work, then I will have no choice but to eliminate the 10% of the disciples who are ranked at the bottom. 1.2 million points. Is it difficult? Back then, I earned 3 million points in the Arena of Legends. But my cultivation at that time was great perfection, true God. Defeating a certified Saad martial artist in a battle only earns me several hundred points, and that already includes the extra points as a reward. Wouldn't it be ridiculous to ask me to earn so many points? 
Besides, I'm on a winning streak, so if I lose one same, I'll lose a lot of points. You don't fully understand the rules of the Arena of Legends. By this time, after you've won a series of consecutive matches, your points have already surpassed that of the certified god martial artist who is ranked first. In fact, you can apply for the battles at the level of lower rank true gods to compete with the ones at a higher level. Higher level? You want me to challenge those true gods who are a level higher than I am? Yes, and not only that, you also need to maintain your winning streak. It's hard, but you defeated Lu Cheng Tian and killed Xie Ju, both of whom are among the best of the low rank true gods. I believe it is possible for you to achieve that goal with your strength. So that explains it. Give me your jade token. Okay. Buzz. Okay, now, when you go into the arena of legends, your opponent can't find out your name. In other words, it is like you're anonymous. How can this be? It's normal. Some warriors from the rich and powerful clans would do so when they don't want to attract attention. But the anonymous function only works on your opponents that challenge you. Once you lose, your name will appear on the ranking list. To ensure the anonymity of your identity, you'll enter the arena of the legends at my palace. Rumble. Phew. You can enter the arena of legends at any time. I've already helped you apply for the battles to challenge warriors at a higher level. I'll have to rest first. She's not even sleepy, such over-exaggerated acting. Buzz. Hey. Why was I brought to a room? Shouldn't it be a battlefield? I'll go out and take a look. Oh, oh, oh. What is this place? Hey, there's a certified god martial artist in here, and he's anonymous. A certified god martial artist is really going to challenge higher-leveled warriors? Which powerful clan is he from? How can he have the confidence? This anonymity is really good. It seems that my face is covered in the eyes of others. This will allow me to fight without holding back. Where am I? This must be your first time in the Hall of True Gods, right? Certified God martial artists aren't really qualified to enter this place. As the most junior martial artist in the floating island, a certified God martial artist can't enter the Hall of True Gods. They can only be matched with random opponents by using the Jade Wall of Legends. However, a low rank true god is different. Each low rank true god has their own independent room. That allowed them to find a random opponent or choose a specific warrior to go up against. When you win a challenge and move up in the rankings, the position of the room will also change. The higher the position of the room, the stronger you are. So that's it. Thank you very much. I have just entered the Hall of True Gods and lost my match. Should I challenge you? What do you think? Don't listen to him. Come and challenge me. I've only been a true god for less than three months. My solely tile has just reached the preliminary stage and my entire foundation is unstable. I'm the one most suitable to be your first opponent. It seems that they think that I'm an easy target for points since I'm just a certified god martial artist. Ahem, there is a first come, first served rule. I was the one who invited this little brother first. In that case, I accept your challenge, though you will have to tell me how to do so. All you will have to do is go back to your room and activate the godline on the wall, then, A's, that brat Chin Hua took advantage of him. It's all right. Since this certified god martial artist has already participated in such a battle, he won't be satisfied with just one battle, right? Chen Hua also said that it's first come first served, so we can wait for him to finish, then we can challenge that brat. I can challenge anybody in the Hall of True Gods with their room number, or I can just challenge opponents randomly. Name Chen Hua points 193 rank 197. So few points, but I should still continue. Although it's unfair to challenge you with my cultivation level, you accepted the challenge. Therefore, you yourself have chosen to participate in this battle. Surely you're well prepared, right? Of course. Then I won't show any mercy. Swish. It's annihilating Divine Tao. A Divine Tao activated through the Divine Spark is able to reach a higher level. 
Chin Hua is one of the weakest low rank true gods, but his strength cannot be underestimated. I don't have a divine spark, and it's not convenient to reveal the severing emotions divine Dao, so let's try it with my bare hands first. I am ready. Where is your weapon? Otherwise, people will say that I bully the weak. No need. Let's do it. Boom. Swish. This guy can shatter the ground with the slightest touch of his toes. This man's strength. Oh no, he's faster than I expected. Annihilating slash. Swish. You, in the past, as long as I unleashed the annihilating divine Tao, even ordinary low rank true gods would find it difficult to resist the beams. But he. Seems that I can only use my trump card now. Empty annihilation. Whoosh whoosh. Eight tunes flying smoke. These annihilating blades are extremely sharp and contain a formidable destructive power, but they aren't very fast. How can I pass up such a good opportunity to absorb the internal potential? Whoosh. Pop. Is he trying to die? Unfortunately, I can't see his face and I don't know what he's thinking. Because of the anonymity, he can't see the change in my eyes, so I can safely absorb his divine Dao's internal potential. Swish, swish, swish. You, what the hell are you doing? Whoosh. Swish. You, 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 you also cultivate Annihilating Divine Dao? The Annihilating Divine Dad is focused on destroying everything, among hundreds of thousands of weapons, only the powerful but precise force of a blade can wield it. It is indeed the right choice to condense the light into a blade. You, you must have already tried to cultivate the annihilating divine Tao and encountered some bottleneck. Then, while battling me, you saw me losing it and overcame that bottleneck. Am I right? I'm sorry, but I can't answer you. Let's fight. Boom. Bang. Whoosh whoosh. Ah. Dissipates. He conceded. I only obtained 75 points, too few. Fortunately, I've absorbed another divine Tao. What the hell is Chin Hua doing, taking so long to deal with a certified sod martial artist? Maybe that anonymous man has good strength. After all, a certified god martial artist who dares to challenge a low-ranked true god must be a powerful warrior. No, most of the certified god martial artists who challenge low rank true gods are just arrogant and are usually taught a good lesson. Ha ha ha. Buzz. Shot. The rank of the anonymous man has risen. He actually beat Chin Hua. What happened? Chin Hua, were you really defeated by that anonymous man? Were you careless? Or is it because that guy is really capable? I'm not in a good mood after losing, and they're still asking about it, so why don't I just let them lose as well? That guy's strength is ordinary. I was just too careless. Otherwise, I wouldn't have lost to him. You've lost to a mere certified god martial artist. I hope you learned your lesson. Hey, hey, you guys wait for me, what are you doing? Come on, accept my challenge. I'm even weaker than Chin Hua, so maybe you can beat me too. Pick me. I've heard that you can't challenge the same opponent in a row, nor can you challenge an opponent ranked 100 places higher or lower than you. As long as you meet the conditions of the match, I'll accept anyone. Good. After an incense stick of time. This brat actually won four matches in a row and his ranking has increased by more than 100. Anyone else here want to challenge me? This anonymous man is really something else. Perhaps he can break the record. I have to tell my clan about this. It seems that there are no more today. Let's go back to the Purple Soul Palace. At least I've obtained 500 points and I've successfully absorbed one of my opponent's divine Tao. Why is Han Liusu here? It looks like she came to find me. She wouldn't have told Han Jiwei about my identity, would she? The Princess Royal of the Han Clan has come to see you in person. Why don't you come and greet her? Aunt Jillii. Isn't it too much for you to say that he should greet me? Purple Soul Palace's Luo Tianqing, greetings Crown Princess. I don't know any Luo Tianqing. I only know, oh no. If she continues, I'm afraid that she'll reveal my identity. 
Your Highness, I've already participated in battles of challenging warriors at a higher level in the Jade Wall of Legends. If I meet Your Highness someday in the future, please show mercy. He is really afraid that I will reveal his identity in front of Joey. Forget it, I'll pretend that I just met him. Thank you for helping Chuyu a few days ago. This is a gift for you. Liu Su, you are so generous. The seven times refined God turning pill. It's a rare thing. After swallowing this soul turning pill, it can quickly atomize the true essence C in the body and thus accelerate divine sparks condensation. However, these kinds of pills were usually two or three times refined. Few people would make the seven times refined saw turning pill. Thank you. Pinchy. Hmm? Their relationship is really not simple. I almost forgot, Luo Zhang has a strong physical body. Even if I were to hit him hard, I would only end up hurting myself. May you condense a divine spark as soon as possible and make a contribution to my Han clan. Now that I have become a disciple of the Han clan, it's only right that I make a contribution. Aunt Juiyi, now that the gift has been delivered, I'll leave first. Okay. I came here to talk with Luo Zheng alone. But Joey just pretended not to understand my hints and had no intention of leaving at all. This trip has been a waste of time. Luo Tianqing, have you ever met Princess Royal outside the floating island? I think Han Liu Su knows something, like your true underscore identity. Over the years, I've never seen her leave the floating island. She's never even traveled to the Han clan's ancestral land. The only time she left the floating island was to go to the godly refinement land. I can only deduce that if you met her before, then you could only have met her in the godly refinement land. God citizens living outside the floating islands aren't qualified to enter the godly refinement land. Only the descendants and disciples of the wealthy clans on the floating islands can enter. You just joined the Han clan, and thus, I know you aren't from any of those wealthy clans. Most likely, you come from a saint's universe. This woman is really scary. She can analyze so many things just from such simple information. Zero, zero, if this continues, my identity may be, and all living creatures that come from the universes must be led by the members of the Jian clan, and all names on the list will be registered in the Hall of Saints, but it seems there were stowaways a while back. The ruling slate punished the stowaways, but the matter remained unresolved. Yui Taibai has been acting very reckless recently. This time around, they even dared fight with the Jiang clan, with the purpose of forcing the clan to withdraw all their members from the universes. I guess his master, Luo Xiao, might have something to do with it. If she guesses my identity and wants to make a move on me, then I have no chance to survive. I'd say you're from the universe of Great Expanse, and everything was arranged by Luo Xiao. Am I guessing correctly? From the very beginning, I just felt that this was all very strange. It's just impossible for a talent like you to emerge from the god citizens. I mean, it would have been how? Foo even the wealthy clans on the floating islands to have trained a talent like you. Perhaps you're that woman's child, not an ordinary goodly embryo. More importantly though, your surname hasn't been changed. That woman, what does that mean? She should be referring to my mother. I had the feeling before that I and Luo Yin are not beings created by my father in his inner world. No need to ask so many questions, it's better if you don't know now. What are you going to do? Take it easy. The world is so boring, at that time, Luo Xiao wanted to make the world more interesting. I was looking forward to it, but he failed, what a pity. But I know what kind of person he is. He's the type of man who will never give up, not until his death stops him. That said, it's safe to say that he's almost dead now, but he has yet to give up. Alas, I do see a shimmer of new hope. You said you saw new hope. Did you mean me? You know the answer. Han Jiui looked at me with a strange look. She seemed to have a trace of nostalgia, but I can't be sure. What is her relationship with my father? I'm not sure if she's on my father's side, master. The young princess has come to visit. I don't know how much talent you've inherited from your father, but you are similar to your father in this respect. Lu Zi, haha, Luo Tianqing, Aunt Juvi. I am really curious, what exactly is your real name, AHP your real name? Real name? What real name? 
His name is Luo Tianqing. Luo Tianqing, thank you for helping me and Bilio a few days ago. Come and visit me someday. Oh, how did she know that too, Aunt Jewel? Can I borrow Luo Tianqing for a while? I have something to say to him. Luo Tianqing has something else to do. I'm afraid he doesn't have time for you today. I understand, by the way. I have a gift here to thank you. This is my collection of some particularly delicious dishes. Luo Tianqing, you take your time. I'll go first. That little girl is just so thoughtful. You know, some of these dishes are very precious. Collecting them is quite the task. Master, the patriarch's daughter, Han Bilio, wants to see you. It's still not over yet. I'm so glad to see you, Aunt Jui. I missed you so much, so I came here today. Wow, you look much prettier than before. You always have a sweet tongue, but I think that you didn't miss me. And you didn't come to see me, right? Aunt Jui, what do you mean, haha, -ha, let me guess. You are here because you want to give Luo Tianqing a gift for helping you that day, right? I'm just grateful that Luo Tianqing helped me. I just wanted to thank him. Well, well, it's normal. But it's not normal for you little girls to come alone one by one. Han Chuao was also here? Naturally, not only Chili, but Liu Su also paid him a visit. Eh, I thought Luo Tianqing was helping me. So then why did Liu Su and Chu Yu also come to thank him? Could it be? My gift is a blue necklace that can protect the soul from harm. Luo Tianqing, you can take it. Okay, thanks. It seems she doesn't know your real identity. Maybe not. They all wanted to tell you something today, but couldn't because of me. These girls are from my clan. And if you break their hearts like your father did, you'd be severely dealt with. I'm not going to lie, master. I have already married and have a child in the universe. I have other important matters to attend to here, but it is not convenient for me to reveal my identity. When the right time comes, I will explain my situation to them. Okay. I won't interfere in your personal affairs, but I think Luo Tianqing is just an alias. What's your real name? My first name is Zhang. Luo Zhang? Luo Xiao gave you a very ambitious name. He had once written an article about conquering heaven. I think he gave you the name from that article. Well, I just hope you can keep my secret. No problem. After all, I would like you to earn points without worrying. I watched the battle between you and the four true gods. Your body is quite strong, and your soul is even stronger than that of most low-ranked true gods, although you killed your opponents with sheer brute force. I know you can easily defeat some low-ranked true goos, but as you progress, you'd come to know that defeating the top talents of the wealthy clans on the floating islands is much, much harder. Master is correct, but it would be quite difficult for me to greatly enhance my strength in such a short period of time. It's almost impossible for me to form my divine spark and I don't even dare use the emotion-severing divine Tao. That's not necessarily true. Close your eyes. Whoosh. This is the purple heaven absolute land. I built this universe. Why am I here? I don't know where your strength comes from, but your present means are too simplistic. I will teach you a method in the Strength Divine Tao to maximize your strength. This cultivation method is mainly used by the true gods who are able to condense the nine divine stars, but I believe that you would benefit from it a great deal. Nine divine stars? Seems Han Jioi isn't able to see that I have already condensed my nine divine stars that year. Turtle Dove Saint gave me a large amount of source strength, so I successfully condensed the nine divine stars by relying on the primordial chaos chi. Han Jiui should not know that the primordial chaos secret technique exists. The preciousness of the strength divine Tao is the single use of brute strength and is very powerful. Because the strength source can morph into various shapes, the effect is very direct. The effect is very straightforward and more convenient than other Divine Tao. This is the natural advantage that the Strength Divine Tao has. Whoosh. Swish. Shouldn't there be only 9 stars? Why are there 21? That's just a small detail. There is no need to delve into it. What I want you to see next is the most important. Buzz. Whoosh whoosh. 
Although I can do the cross-world divine ability, but it's the first time I've ever seen someone creating different shapes at once. I can only create and use one shape at a time. This beyond Tao divine ability is comprehended from the strength divine Tao. It is usually called power shaping. In fact, warriors can perform the lowest level of the power shaping once their eighth path platforms are formed. The most primitive power was that from the martial artist's body. When fighting against an opponent, one would have to exhaust the strength in their muscles and meridians first. When a body refiner needed power, they could extract it from the eight path platforms and pass it to their hands through their meridians. This was the most basic power shaping. That shaped the power into a liquid and quickly spread it to the position that the warrior needed along the meridians. This is considered power shaping, everybody seems to know this. It's only the lowest level, you can't force your strength out of your body. It is only possible to do this when you fully understand power shaping, this will greatly enhance your ability to defend against the enemy. The power shaping is divided into three stages. The first stage was to shape the power and extend the strength as a part of one's own body. In the second stage, one could extend the power even further and twist it into a simple shape. This is the first stage. This, you've reached the second stage. Swish. Is this the third stage? No wonder, judging by your performance in the arena of legends, it is still difficult for you to kill Sieju. It is even more impossible for you to hurt Lin Yu. Now I see the reason. Although I know power shaping, I can't use it properly in combat. Since Master wants to teach me power shaping, I wonder if I can reach Master's level of proficiency. I have never imparted this divine ability to outsiders. But if you become my disciple, I will consider teaching you. I have a master. My master is Gui Bei. I should have known that since Gu Bei and Luo Xiao were on good terms, that Gu Bei would definitely help him. But if you can teach me this unique skill, I will practice it painstakingly. TSK, in that case, I can teach you the God Slaying Sword Array. What? The God Slaying Sword Array? I've seen it before. Isn't that the move that Eleven Yuqin used? But it's strange, although the extreme purple realm in the universe of Great Expanse is incomplete, it is very similar to the Purple Heaven Absolute Land. Furthermore, she only started her training in the extreme purple realm. Her real mastery of the God Slaying Sword Array was done in the Godly Refinement Land. If you have truly seen the God Slaying Sword Array, then it couldn't have been in God's domain. It must have been in the universe of Great Expanse. According to the original agreement, there is a warrior with the first great extreme purple ink physique in the extreme purple realm. Back then, your father had specially created the extreme purple realm for me. The god slaying sword array was created by your father and L. I have promised him that if a warrior with the first great extreme purple ink physique in the universe of great expanse existed, I would naturally let this warrior inherit the god slaying sword array. After I left the universe of great expanse, the extreme purple realm hadn't been removed. I left the inheritance there too. The god slaying sword array was created by my father and Han Jiwei together. I understand now. Why I was placed in the Han clan's territory after the stowaway. Maybe, father did this because he hoped that I could rely on Han Jiwei, someone that he used to be close with. Since you have seen the God Slaying Sword Array, you must know who is the one to employ it. Who is it? Did that warrior come to God's domain? That person, it's my wife, Eleven Yu Chin. Did she come here as well? I'm not sure. She doesn't like to cultivate, so her cultivation is slow. However, she should have smuggled in after she attained her divine Tao. According to Luo Zhao's plan, she should be smuggled to the ancestral land of the Han clan as well. A warrior like her should be trained by me personally. I'll have some people look for her in the regions kinder the control of the Han clan. If that person is your wife, what have you seen besides the god slaying sword array? Um, I have also seen the Purple River Sword Array, the Two Mode Sword Array, those are the sword arrays that I used to practice, but back then I could only use real swords, which had great limitations. Now that I can use illusionary swords, I have a better understanding of the God Slaying Sword Array, swish swish. What a powerful force. It is far superior to the sword array used by Eleven Yu Chin. 
At the beginning, the God Slaying Sword Array only had the four swords change. Later, I figured out the 32 swords change, the 96 swords change, and other techniques. You have mastered the Cross World Divine Ability. Moreover, you can cultivate the Purple Chi Divine Tao. It should not be difficult for you to learn it. Today, I'm teaching you the Four Swords Change. The Four Swords Change was personally made for me by your father, and today I'm teaching his son. Do you want to try it? Okay. Long Vine Sword. Buddha Emperor Sword. Grant Sun Sword. Heavenly Tooth Sword. I remember these four swords. The first one, Long Vine Sword. The second one, Buddha Emperor Sword. Didn't you comprehend the internal potential of the Great Purple Chi Technique? Don't you already know of the separate controlling skill? I didn't comprehend the Great Purple on Technique, it's the Infinity Ruler that comprehended it in my mind. But through Han Jui's guidance, I'm able to comprehend more of the inner potential of the Great Purple Q. Technique, 10 days later. How is it? I can already maintain four swords at the same time. Not bad, but it only lasts for one breath, but it took me six months to do this under Luo Zhao's guidance. His son is really just like him. His talent is terrifying. Obviously, he's just a certified sod martial artist. I asked you to shape the power to the Long Vine Sword, the Buddha Emperor Sword, the Grant Sun Sword, and the Heavenly Tooth Sword. Because the four swords have different abilities, the Long Vine Sword focuses on the array of entangling the enemy, the Buddha Emperor Sword's main ability is the killing array, the Grant Sun Sword is mainly used for defensive array, and the Heavenly Tooth Sword forms the hunting array. You have to learn the four swords and their combinations over and over again. This takes a lot of time. One year in the Purple Heaven Absolute Land is six days in God's domain. You need to master this as soon as possible. Yes. Rise. Swish, swish, swish. I didn't expect him to learn the ultimate kill attack, the God Slaying Sword Array, in just one year. Plus it took half a year to form the four swords. In total it was nine days in God's domain, it's time to take him out. You have almost mastered the God Slaying Sword Array, come back with me. Okay. I wonder what Patriarch is here for. The Lang Clan has come to us about Xie Jiao. I don't know how the sub sink is going to deal with this. Xie Clan wants an explanation. What does the Lens Clan have to do with it? Is the Lens Clan even qualified to comment on this? You know that the ranking is very important to our Han Clan and that the Lens Clan will help us. For this reason, the Saint Emperor has even agreed to Han Liu Su and Lang Ling Yu as marriage. I'm telling you this because I don't want this matter to affect our relationship with the Lang clan. As it stands right now, as long as we push that guy out, we can easily solve this problem. Don't force me to find the Saint Emperor. Seeing as you want to conceal the problem in the ranking so badly from me, then you can continue to conceal it. But I won't push Luo Tianqing out. If the Lang clan comes to question such, let them come to me. Didn't I make everything clear to you at the Spirit Heart Palace the other day? You can ask him to question me. I'll give him the exact same answer. Even without the Lens Clan's help, it's still possible for our Han Clan to maintain our current rank. Instead of relying on the Lang Clan, should we rely on the Purple Soul Palace? Two months later, you'll see the results. Asking me to hand Luo Tianqing over to them is wishful thinking and you know it. I don't want you to come to me for this matter again. Can understand that Han Jioli is protecting this brat. After all, there are few geniuses in the Purple Soul Palace. That said though, today, her performance had gone overboard. Is there anything special about the origin of this Luo Tianqing? I'd better wait and see. Don't blame him. Everyone has their own responsibility. I know. And my responsibility is to earn as many points as I can. Yes, Luo Xiao cultivated such an outstanding little guy. It must have been quite difficult for him. The ranking is determined in two months. There's not much time left for me. I need to quickly show results. Baz Buzz. It seems that the anonymous man is back. Is he going to start another winning streak? He actually chooses his opponents randomly. Quite brave. 
so fast, in less than 20 breaths, he won another match. That's five wins in a row. Let's report the news to our clans as soon as possible. Let's see what this guy is all about. Breaking news. Anonymous has accumulated 10 consecutive wins. If he wins one more, he'll obtain 8,300 points. What clan is he from? There is no way to find out. He's anonymous and he's undefeated as a certified god martial artist. Even the rankings don't appear. It's impossible to speculate. Let's join forces, hunt down this anonymous man and find out who he really is. When he takes a break, we'll go talk with him. Okay. What do you want? If you defeat me, I will give you another 20 God Marshal coins. I'll give you 80 God Marshal coins. I'll give you 100. This type of thing also happens, then I'll give you 550 God Marshal coins. What do you say? She and you moo. Deal. I didn't expect to as well take it. Okay. Just challenge my room number, it's 760008. Huh? Previously, the settings in the Arena of Legends were the same, a boundless plain with an incomparably clear starry sky, all the terrains had been exactly the same, without any change. But this arena, why is the environment of this Arena of Legends different from the others? You don't even know this? The environment of the Arena of Legends can be changed as per one's wish, but you need to pay a certain amount of points. Change the environment, so this is not an illusion, but a world based in reality. It's a world that would benefit the true gods who have cultivated the Ice Law or the Snow Imprint Divine Tao. You're right, I cultivate the Snow Imprint Divine Tao. But this is unfair. Since the Arena of Legends is a place for the true gods to compete with each other, it should be as fair as a battle ring. If the environment of the Arena of Legends can be changed with points, then everyone can choose an optimal environment for themselves, right? If you think the Arena of Legends is just a battle ring, then you are wrong. The origin of the Arena of Legends is full of twists and turns, and the mysteries contained within it are far beyond your imagination. You can pursue anything you want here, except for fairness. Ha ha. Take this. Not good. The temperature is decreasing rapidly and my entire body is becoming extremely slow. Whoosh. I have already known that you possess extraordinary brute force, but if you think you can defeat me only using strength, you are too naive. Ha ha ha. Vanished. This guy definitely came prepared. Swish. Whoosh. Ha ha. You're wrong again. This time it's real. Bang. What is he trying to do? I'm coming again. Are you ready? He already knows I'll turn into snow when I'm hit, so this time let's take advantage of the opportunity to finish him off. Whoosh. Behind me again? Dong. Whoosh. I heard you are strong and that you have a special body protection treasure. With my current strength, it'll be quite difficult to kill you. But there are many different ways to kill people. I'm sure I can use another way. I dislike blood the most. It seems less interesting for me to play with you alone. This time I'm going to call out more of my clones. Whoosh wash. This fat man's technique is so strange. His clones are all made of real snow, not phantoms or illusions. It's difficult to distinguish his real body. So they can only be defeated all at once. Crane crack. What happened? I thought they were all shattered. Where did this pressure on my back come from? Three frost imprints won't be enough. While you're just a certified god martial artist, your comprehensive ability is much greater than that of an ordinary low rank true god. To defeat you, I'll need four frost imprints. You bastard, come on, do you dare to come? It's not the real you. It's here. Nice try. But sadly, you guessed wrong again. Swish. You're not as powerful as I've heard. Recently, everyone's been talking about how powerful the anonymous man is, and some people even predicted that you'd win 20 consecutive battles. I never imagined you were this weak. This battle, I will be the winner. Boom. Your body really is much stronger than those monsters. 
Usually, a low-rank true god will be injured after facing the first layer of the Snow Divine Spear. The second Snow Divine Spear, this spear should be even more powerful than the previous one. I must crush it. Boom. What's going on? It's like this spear doesn't even exist. Not bad. Your clothes are truly something. It should have blocked most of the power, right? Swoosh. But you won't be able to stop this one. What tenacity indeed. With the fourth spear, I shall end your life. I haven't used the snow engraved divine spear's fourth layer for a long time. Most opponents would usually be defeated by the third layer. Buzz. You may die now, anonymous man. Eight tunes flying smoke. It is a good thing that the Snow Imprint Divine Spear contains great power. At the moment when it gets close to the Eight Tunes Flying Smoke, there will be a huge force that pushes me away. It can greatly weaken its power. However, the Eight Tunes Flying Smoke can only avoid it for a moment. I must use enough power to stop it. Crack. Ah. Crack. You do deserve to be the man with ten consecutive wins. You are still alive. I've made my ranking fall several hundred thousand places down on purpose just to fight you. Tell me your name, no matter which clan you belong to, our Xianyu clan is willing to pay the price to have you on our side. You lowered your own ranking on purpose to come here? Yes. I was originally in the top 20. Ha ha. No wonder, I really didn't expect that someone would lower their rank to challenge me. What a miscalculation. I didn't expect to fight with a pinnacle low rank true god at this time. I was too careless. Just accept your failure and join our Xianyu clan. We will offer the best treatment, no matter which clan you come from. Why should I accept my failure? Do you think I will lose? Do you think you still have a chance? Look behind you. This is Ice Soul Demon Flame. Whoosh whoosh dot this is the Ice Demonic Flames. And it is complete. You truly have strange tactics. Even until now I can't find where your real body is. But I think it must be in this circle. So I just have to freeze everything in this circle. How could you possibly fully comprehend Turtle Dove Saint's Ice Demonic Flames? As expected, the Ice Demonic Flames is much more effective in this extreme cold environment. The improvement is better than I expected though. If the ice demonic flames enter your body, it is extremely difficult to get rid of it. I need to avoid it. Whoosh. It's over. Crack. I didn't expect the 11th consecutive win would be so difficult. I must be careful next time. I can't accept any more challenges, only random opponents from now on. Moo. You also lost to the anonymous man? How is this possible? That's right, he can't break my snow divine spear, and I've successfully planted four frost imprints on him. But he actually used the ice demonic flames to counterattack, that brat has fully comprehended it. What? Being able to use the turtle dove saint's ice demonic flames, he should be from the goo clan. Goo bay and turtle dove saint have a good relationship. It's possible. Ten days later. The anonymous man didn't appear again today for the sixth day in a row? It's strange that he hasn't reappeared yet, since it took him four days to go from 11 to 22 consecutive wins, he has already achieved 370,000 points and is ranked 96th, anonymous man? I heard that he is just a certified god martial artist who participated in the higher level battle, he has accumulated a lot of points due to his consecutive wins. If I were to defeat him, then I'd obtain 90% of his points. These points would make a great improvement to the Han clan's floating island ranking. Then my brother wouldn't have to do the higher level battles and the Han clan would no longer need to rely on the Lang clan. Han Shuron, you seem to be staying here all the time. Have you received any latest news on the anonymous man? There's been no news, your highness. However, Zuanao Mu seems to know something, but he doesn't want to reveal it. Even though the anonymous man's actions feel similar to Luo Zhang, I don't think that he is Luo Zhang. Luo Zhang is also cultivating under Han Jui's guidance. Last time, I couldn't absorb the inner potential of that fat man Snow Imprint Divine Dao into the Infinity Ruler. What a pity. 
Unfortunately, it was difficult to survive from that kind of situation, zero zero let alone absorb such a kind of divine Tao. The key to activating the infinity ruler is in the internal potential, all kinds of internal potential of divine Tao, even the internal potential of beyond divine Tao ability will activate it. Up until now, the infinity ruler has not yet absorbed the internal potential of the emotion severance divine Tao. Can the internal potential of the emotion severance divine Tao activate the infinity ruler? I will try to quickly disperse the internal potential. I can mark it on the infinity ruler. Maybe I can learn something new from it. Selfless. Whoosh. Emotion severing divine Tao is at the end of 3000 divine Tao. It's done. In this way, perhaps many of the problems I've encountered with emotion severing divine Tao will be easier to solve. Yu Tai Bai is going to challenge Mui Shiwerong. It's an open battle. You can watch the battle after you enter the Jade Wall of Legends. Anyway, with 22 consecutive wins, it's time to take a break from the arena. Once he has a breakthrough in strength then, he would just have to do a few key battles to ensure that the maximum number of points can be accumulated. Yu Tai Bai He's the one that took Luo Yin away from the Middle Continent. With the power of only one finger, he sent me flying hundreds of miles away. And he is also my father's chief disciple. Wasn't the floating island of the Luo clan destroyed? Why is Yu Taisai still able to enter the arena of legends to challenge others? Just go and watch it. You'll understand these things over time. So many people. This is the anonymous man. He has not even proven a divine Tao, and yet he ranks 96th. What's important is that he defeated Xian Yu Mu. We are well aware of Xian Yu Mu's strength. Xian Yu Mu is most likely to enter among the top 10. Here he is, hello, anonymous. What can I do for you? I tried to keep my voice as low as possible so that she wouldn't recognize me. Although the appearance can be hidden, the voice is easily exposed. In the Hall of True Gods, can you accept my challenge? I'm Han Liosu, ranked third among the lower ranked true gods. Moon named the daughter of me Haney, you have already been defeated by me. Please don't embarrass yourself again. You. Are you the anonymous man who won 22 battles consecutively? Yes, that would be me. After the open battle, you will have to accept my challenge. If you defeat me, I'll give you a high-quality supreme primordial weapon. Holy shit, most of the primordial weapons in God's domain are not of the highest quality, and only a few of them are available from the wealthy clans. How could she take out one as a gift? Mu Ning has always been so formidable. It's very normal for her to have that kind of confidence. After all, she ranks first among the low-ranked true good. It turned out that her name is Mu Ning, a child of the Mu clan. A piece of high-quality supreme primordial weapon? I'm afraid that is not enough. Not enough? If I keep winning, the points that I accumulate will be equivalent to a great perfection true gods. I can change the rankings of some floating islands at that time. Think about it. Isn't it too good a deal for a clan to use only one high-quality supreme primordial weapon to raise its ranking? You, are you so confident that you will win all the time? If you continue to choose your opponents randomly and meet me somehow, I can still defeat you and end your winning streak. Since you're so confident, what are you afraid of? Why don't you make it three second rank supreme primordial weapons? I will decide the time to challenge you, but I promise the time will be before the re-ranking of the floating islands. My, aren't you greedy? I accept. If I win, you can give her the three second rank supreme primordial weapons what? Why should I give them to her? Are you a member of the Han clan? You can keep guessing whether I'm a disciple of the Han clan or not. It is up to you whether you want to accept the deal or not. Fine, didn't you just say that you also want to challenge me? Yes, but I can't afford three supreme primordial weapons. Even if I could, I can't do that. What's the point? If you want, I can challenge you for free. Haha. <laughs> of course I'm willing. What the hell do you mean? Nothing. The open battle has started. I'll watch it first. Mushiwerong, the daughter of Muhaiji. It's Mushiwerong. 
I heard that she has already fully comprehended the killing Divine Tao. It is said that she has also grasped three beyond Divine Tao abilities of the killing Divine Tao. It seems that she has made a lot more progress. But I guess she you tie by this year as well. Her action are also quite strange according to the rules. She doesn't have to accept Yutaibai's challenge. Yutaisai challenged Mushuerong every year, and every year, he would ruthlessly defeat her. It's my sister coming out. This guy is discriminating against me. Now he'll see how powerful my sister is with the great perfection true god cultivation. What makes him think that my Mu clan can't be compared with the Han clan? Luo Zhao's chief disciple, Yu Tai Bai, so I finally see you again. One step closer to seeing Luo Yin. This is the 16th battle between us, if I remember correctly. You've lost every battle so far. I will not lose to you this time. Every time I earn my points from you, I'm overwhelmed with guilt. What an obvious lie. Everyone knows that he has a terrible relationship with the Mu clan. Didn't he take over the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain to deal with the Mu clan? In fact, the Luo clan has been completely destroyed, and there is no possibility for them to rise again, then why is Yu Tai Bai so persistent? He is such a capable person, what a pity, no possibility to rise again, no, one day, I will revitalize our floating island and look down upon every large clan that is present. But now I can't confront them, I can only hide myself first, and then move forward step by step. You don't have to feel sorry, I will take back all the points, let's begin. Woosh woo. Boom. This slash alone has such great power, Mushuerong is so fierce, she can condense all the power into her scimitar. You will not be able to predict this. Swish 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 swoosh. Splash. Clack. Do you feel strange? Did your calculations fail you? Well, I might have been wrong in some of my calculations. I can't believe that you tie by calculated something wrong. Wasn't it said that the cultivator of the Great Expanse Divine Tao could calculate anything even through chaos? It seems that you tie by can't even calculate and predict Mushuerong's attack. He's going to lose. This time, I'm afraid that the Mu clan have helped Mu Shiwerong prepare something to deal with Yu Tai Bai's calculations. No wonder Yu Tai Bai was able to defeat Mu Shiwerong 15 times. He was relying on the Great Expanse Divine Tao. After my father became a saint, many people were eager to learn the Great Expanse Divine Tao, but the only other person who could use the power of Great Expanse Divine Tao is now in front of me. He can use the Great Expanse Divine Tao to calculate any movement of his opponent. Even a blink of an opponent's eye, a heartbeat, and a subtle movement can be deduced. However, why did he miscalculate this time? What kind of method did Mushiwerong use? I'm glad that your calculations were off. Let that tattered floating island of the Luo clan sink into the time sea this time. It's really annoying. Swish. Swish. Since you already know you are unable to calculate my movements, it would be pointless to waste any more energy in trying. Swish. Yu Tai Bai was cut in half by Mushiwerong. I've told you, the reason why Mushiwerong lost to Yu Tai Bai so many times before was because of the Great Expanse Divine Dad, if we consider their real strength. It would appear that Yu Tai Bai is not stronger than her. If Yu Tai Bai loses, would the Luo clan's floating island fall into the Time Seed because of his failure? The floating island of the Luo clan won't fall into the Time Sea. I had already defeated you for 15 times before you knew how to deal with my deduction technique. It must be those damned old men from the Hall of Saints who put you up for this. Swish. In that case, I can let you and the old men of the Hall of Saints watch as I tear up your bodies and trample on your floating islands in the future. Boom. The strength source is flowing in his blood vessels instead of blood. How is he able to do it? I can't believe that Yu Tai Bai used such a strange body refining skill. It's completely beyond the eight Tao pillars and the nine divine stars. What the hell is this strength source? How can it replace blood? How is this happening? I've clearly surpassed his deduction ability. I have made breakthroughs in my comprehension of the killing divine Tao, and I'm using two first rank supreme primordial weapons. But, why does his power make me so nervous? 
Swish. Whoa. I can see through his movements. This time I'll win. Rumble. I will rip you into pieces. Rumble. Swish. Do you think you can win if you catch me? Crack. What is this divine ability? The scales on her body are similar to that of the holy evil body. But I've never seen such a strange holy evil body. I didn't expect my elder sister to show her trump card so soon. Father had once said this move could keep her alive for a short period of time. Within it, she would be almost invincible. Take this. Crack. The source strength, logically speaking, can't be completely integrated with somebody. Yu Taibai's understanding of the strength divine Dao and the body refinement seems to have taken another level. Even Mu Shiwerong's trump card, which claims to make her immortal, can't withstand it now. Swish. Rumble rumble. Dissipates. After this re-ranking of the floating islands, the members of the Zhao clan, the Lid clan, the Qing clan, the Mu clan, the Tang clan, the Lang clan, and the Dongfang clan are strictly not allowed to enter the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain. What? Zhao clan, Lu clan, Qing clan, Mu clan, Tang clan, Lang clan, and Dongfang clan are not allowed to enter the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain. I heard that among these four great forbidden lands. The soul desolate is quite mysterious. The whirlpool forest is full of fierce creatures. The abyss demon region is the most dangerous one. So the thoughtless spirit mountain is the most valued forbidden land among the wealthy floating island clans. Since they are banned, it must have something to do with the Luo clan's floating island. It wasn't just Muhaiji who destroyed the Luo clan. These should be all of the clans that were involved with attacking the Luo clan back then. If the members of the Han clan, the Xianyu clan, the Sword clan, and the Gu clan wish to enter the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain, I will take it upon myself to open the Cloud Dragon Ravine for you. That hand gesture, I taught it to Yinner. Since it was Xing Wei's arrangement to sneak me into the Han clan's ancestral land, then Yu Tai Bai should know that I'm in the Han clan. He used this gesture to send me a hint. He named the other three clans either to distract the other saints or perhaps to entice these clans. Yu Tai Bai, the Forbidden Land does not belong to you. You have no right to deny our Tang clan entry. Even Chu Xiaoqiao, who is in control of the Soul Desolate, isn't as overbearing as you are. As you can see, I'm different from Chu Xiaoqiao. You should have seen it coming a long time ago. You should have figured this out when you were bullying the Wu clan, and I have just started with my plot. By the way, let this be a message to the Jiang clan to not chase me anymore. I won't be so forgiving next time. Swish. Thoughtless Spirit Mountain's Cloud Dragon Ravine. I have to go there as soon as possible. Still lost to you, Tai Bai. Alas, things will not be good for her in the following days. Everyone should be so careful from now on. The Palace Lord has a bad temper. Although it's not satisfactory, let's go and explain the situation to Father first after Father was punished by the ruling slate. He was imprisoned in this mountain. I don't know if he'll be angry since I've lost again. Father, you've lost? Yes. I guess Utaiba has made some progress on his strength again. He has indeed benefited a lot from the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain. Father, Utaiba has taken complete control of the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain. He announced in the Arena of Legends that the Mu Clan can never step into the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain again. What? Is the Mu clan the only clan that isn't allowed? No, the Tang clan, the Dongfang clan, and a few others. Humph. That brat is so despicable. And he also said that he would allow the Han clan, the Gu clan, the Xianyu clan, and the Sword clan to enter the Cloud Dragon Ravine. I think he might have given some type of hint. The Gu clan, the Xianyu clan, and the Sword clan, Yu Taibai's words are for the stowaways. Stowaways? Yes, he probably said those words to give a hint to one of the two warriors who sneaked into God's domain some time ago. I don't think there would be any Daozi hiding among the Gu clan. It is too conspicuous. It is unlikely that the Xianyu and Sword clans would have had much interaction with Luo Xiao. That just leaves us with the Han clan, which on the surface has nothing to do with the Luo clan. I remember that Han Jui once cultivated in the universe of Great Expanse. 
Even after becoming a sub-saint, she still thinks of Luo Xiao all the time. Father, are you saying that Yu Tai Bai said those words just to give a hint to someone in the Han clan? Who could he have been speaking to? Since I haven't cultivated the great expanse divine Dao, I can't figure that out. Anyway, the first thing we should do is to investigate it. Arrange people to observe the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain, since we're not allowed to enter the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain anymore. Hire the true gods from other rich clans on the floating islands to do it. Yes. Senior brother, senior brother. Did you watch open battle between Yu Tai Bai and Mui Shiwerong? I watched it. Jing Wu Wan Yu Tai Bai has become more powerful again, and also very domineering. He seems completely different from what he used to be. Do you think that he was hinting for us to enter the Cloud Dragon Ravine when he spoke at the Arena of Legends? I think that he can't pass through the Cloud Dragon Ravine on his own, so he wants us to help him. Don't you think so? Dream on. Yu Tai Bai's words might have been a hint to our junior fellow disciple. We're also going to take action. We can't fall behind Yu Tai Bai. Little junior brother? Has junior brother already ascended to God's domain? And is he currently on one of the floating islands? Right. If junior brother had ascended to God's domain, then his ascension must have been guided by a member of the Jian clan. Do you think those saints will let him go? Why do you think Yu Tai Bai has been giving so much trouble to the Jian clan in recent times? Since Junior Brother is on one of the floating islands now, how about we bring him here? I will train him personally, and he is sure to make a rapid progress. Can you really find him? Do you really think that he is as careless as you are? Let's just say that you found him, then what? Do you think that you can keep him safe on the Gu clan's floating island? Master has always been wandering around in the vast chaos. So it's easy for other saints to come to our floating island. Okay, take all the craps you've made and let's go. So soon, where are we going? To the right place, we'll wait for our junior brother there. Where is that? Is it, senior brother, wait for me. How do you feel now that you've watched the open battle? What am I supposed to feel? even though I understand you, Tabai's hint. I still don't know anything about my father's plan. What exactly does he want me to do? Well, I didn't expect you, Tabai, to say something like this. I'm afraid we have no choice but to change our initial plan. I originally wanted you to help raise the ranking of the Han clan's floating island. Now that he has mentioned the Han clan, it will be inconvenient for you to make a splash in the ranking battle. Aren't I anonymous? When the points are being calculated, your points will go to the Han clan. Thus, they'd figure out who you really are. What should I do? If you want to hide your identity, it's simple. You can lose to Han Lu's way in your final fight. But I need the points to get the treasure that is rewarded by the Han clan. Which treasure? I want the Golden Beast statue. After I accumulate enough points, I'm going to hold on. Whoosh. Clang. I received it just like that? Sure enough, my internal world is reacting towards it again. The Golden Beast statue is a real gem. Its full body was made from a special material, and it can transform into the shapes of thousands of beasts. After refining it, the user can skillfully resist the low-rank true gods with it. But to you, I believe it's basically useless. Therefore, one was wondering what use it is to you. Um, I like it. This kid is still lying to me. He must know something about the Golden Beast statue, but since he doesn't want to discuss it, I won't pursue it. If you like it, take it, I need to go. The mud at the bottom is quite a lot. I wonder if it will allow me to form the Divine Spark successfully. In any case, I must condense a Divine Spark before heading to the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain. Otherwise, I won't be able to enter the Cloud Dragon Ravine. Since I'm still participating in the higher level battles, I can't risk breaking through now or I'll be disqualified. The devouring of this mud should be decided after the floating island's rankings are determined. Three days before the floating island's rankings are determined. Open battle spectators room. It's a tough call this year, 
Tang Clan's Tang Wan defeated Zhou Clan's Zhou Weekend. Fong Clan's Fong Henwan defeated Li Clan's Luan Yu. There's still three days remaining, and there will be even more changes during this period. All the trump cards will be shown now. However, the Gue Clan's two great perfection true gods, Yu Shenpans and Jing Wu Wan, didn't participate in the battle. The Gue Clan will probably pull out of the top ten. After watching a few battles, I seem to have a general understanding of the factions on the floating islands. Those who are forbidden to enter the Thoughtless Spirit Mountain are the wealthy clans that destroyed the Luo clan, led by the Dongfang clan. The Han clan is part of the independent faction, but in recent years became close to the Lens clan. Xianyu clan and the Sword clan are the oldest wealthy clans here. They're from the four great divine trees. These two clans were formed before the ruling slate was created. Let's start with today's match. Why is it that 195 low rank true gods are challenging me? 195, I am 96th, only 100 below and above can challenge me. So this means every eligible person is challenging me. Do I look that weak, although the 100 true gods below me have basically the same strength, it's better if I challenge the bottom one. I also don't want to lose my winning streak at such a critical time. I pick you. Whoosh. This world isn't half bad after all. Wow. I'm so lucky. Fong Xiaoyu, why did you accept my challenge? Because you are ranked lowest. Then I'm afraid you've picked the wrong opponent. In addition, you've comprehended the complete ice demonic flames, which is an inheritance from Turtle Dove Saint. With this alone, you are no match for me. You're best at pure strength. Your soul is also very strong. Did she and you Mu tell you that? You don't know? How pathetic slash that fat man hid this news very well at first, but before long, he was using it to earn himself money. It was sold to everybody in the top 200. Wow. He really knows how to make money. Fortunately, my other abilities aren't exposed, otherwise it would be a problem. If what Xin Yu Mu was saying is true, then I'll be very honored and more than pleased to end your winning streak. Come on then. Let's see if you have what it takes. Swish, 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 even if the water in God's domain is much heavier than that in the universe, does she really think it can hurt me? Puff. 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 You've stopped attacking. The water is stuck on me? This water is very strange. It's sticking to my body like glue. You didn't notice anything wrong until now? It's too late. Swish, 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 no. It's getting tighter. Burn it out. The parting's water can conquer all kinds of fire, not to mention that your flame hasn't even fully developed yet. You can't break out from the parting water's grasp with your strength alone. I'm curious to discover what else you have to resist me with. Not good. Come to think of it, it's meaningless for me to defeat you. God's domain is rather boring. It's not easy to find a warrior who has won 22 consecutive times. It's quite a pity that you will lose to me. What is she trying to say? Whoosh whoosh. Are you sure you can defeat me? Although my movement is limited, she can't kill me, she can't drown me alive. Since I managed to trap you, naturally, I have the ability to kill you as well. So tell me, do you want to defeat me? So what if I say I want to defeat you? Tell me your real identity and which clan you come from, will you? If you can tell me the truth, it won't be impossible for me to admit defeat. What the hell is she thinking? You said that if I tell you my clan, you will admit defeat. Don't you care about points? Think about this carefully. An anonymous man appeared out of nowhere. I think it will be more interesting to let you remain undefeated. But what's the use of points? There's no point in moving our floating island one place up. Sorry, I can't tell you. Then I'm left with no choice but to kill you. You seem to have made a mistake. Buzz. Do you really think you can defeat me by trapping me in water? According to what Xian Yumu said, I think I can. He's just throwing out a magic weapon and trying to fight to the death. But I won't give you that chance. What an innocent girl. 
First I'll activate the Infinity Ruler with the internal potential of the Emotion Severing Divine Tao and then remove all the internal potential the next second. With this method, I can comprehend the Divine Tao and Divine abilities of others without risking their internal potential entering my mind. She cultivates the Parting Water Divine Tao. If the Parting Water Divine Tao is cultivated to the extreme, it will be truly powerful. The devouring spirit turbid current is actually a type of corrosive water. Even the supreme primordial weapon will melt. Since it's so dangerous, I need to quickly break the parting water divine Tao. I'll deal with it by using the Buddha Emperor Sword. Buddha Emperor Sword is the killing sword of the God Slaying Sword Array. It can quickly kill the enemy. Swish. This sword doesn't seem to be a magic weapon. Clap. Parting Water Divine Mirror The Parting Water could transform into anything, and the Parting Water Divine Mirror could clone anything reflected onto it rapidly and shoot it back. Whoosh! Boom! It's done! Whoosh! How can it be? It's taking shape again! Swish! Whoosh! Another victory! The Parting Water Divine Tao can only be employed in a place with water. That's why Fang Xiaoyu chose this misty and rainy environment. I'll also try it. The devouring spirit turbo current she used should also be able to change into a sword. Swish. The devouring spirit turbid current is pretty good, but it doesn't mean much to me. On the other hand, the parting water divine mirror is a bit interesting. If I could cultivate the parting water divine mirror to the top level, would I be able to effectively copy the attack of any opponent? I should give it a try. I should find a chance to test it out. Anonymous man won again. He defeated Fang Xiaoyu. He's accumulated 460,000 points and moved up 20 spots in the rankings. Alas, I was ranked 182nd. There's no hope of challenging him. You've come home so soon today? Fan hints at I just met a man who used his power to form a sword outside of his body. Brother, I have encountered a strange thing. Can someone release power outside their body after the power is shaped and transformed into an object? It's not that hard. Many true gods who cultivate strength divine Tao can do it. My opponent made use of power shaping to form a flying sword. After he detached the flying sword from his body, he managed to control it freely. Then, after I smashed it with my parting water divine mirror, he managed to shape it in the air again. That's impossible. The power can't be controlled freely after being shaped into an object. It would rapidly weaken. You might not have clearly seen what happened, or he might have used another kind of divine ability. It can't be power shaping, as for the skill you just described, only a saint can do it with the cross-world divine ability. Really? Well, I thought I made a mistake. But he really did it. Who? It's that anonymous man. He challenged me today and the method that I described is what he used to defeat me. That's incredible. Which clan is he from? I don't know. I tried to persuade him, but he wasn't willing to reveal his identity. I remember that the shape of that sword was a little odd. Its handle resembled the Mithraya Buddha while the body looked like a wheel, and after it made contact with blood, the blood formed the word kill. Kill? It's the Buddha Emperor's sword, the unique skill of the sub-saint from the Han clan. The anonymous man came from the Purple Soul Palace. Interesting. He's finally exposed. Brother, you are amazing. You guys look at the anonymous man. He has won a few more games and now has a 30 win streak. So powerful, but have you heard the news from the Fong clan that the anonymous man is using the Buddha Emperor's sword? Maybe he's from the Han clan. I've also heard that his points has surpassed 1.4 million, which means he have more than top-ranked true gods. Even more than some great perfection true gods. A lot of clans are now focusing on him. Wait, I still have something to say. You won't beg for mercy in this arena of legends, will you? No. I wanted to tell you at the start, but you didn't even give me a chance. Someone requested me to tell you to go out of your room and meet with her in the Hall of True Gods. The person who asked you to pass the message was sure that I will challenge you? Of course not. 
but she did inform the top 130 true gods from whom you might choose one. The high-ranked true gods are all extraordinary, most are direct disciples from the wealthy clans. Who has the power to make everyone be a messenger? Not even Munging, who's ranked first, could do that, right? Who is it? Her name is Dongfang Yunjue, ranked second among the low-ranked true gods. Dongfang Yunju? Someone from the Dongfang clan? I don't seem to have met anyone from the Dongfang clan before. The Dongfang family is ranked first, so they must have a considerable amount of points. Even though I rose through the ranks from the bottom, I've never once faced a member from the Dongfang clan. What's going on? What does she want? I don't even know her. I don't know. I'm just here to deliver a message. You can go ask her if you want. I admit defeat now. You finally come out. Do you also want to challenge me? I'm not interested in your points. I heard that you've cultivated the Buddha Emperor Sword in the God Slaying Sword Array. You most probably inherited it from Han Jui from the Purple Soul Palace, right? I'm not sure how you cultivated the third stage of the power shaping, but I think you're qualified. Qualified for what? To join our Dongfang clan. I refuse. I've already joined another floating island. I'm not going to change my position. We will talk to the Han clan. There is no need to worry about it. It's too much to ask for the anonymous man when you know he belongs to our clan. Wait. Do you want to stop her? You know that the Dongfang clan is always like this. Their people see no reason. This has nothing to do with the Han clan. It also has nothing to do with you whether you join our clan or not. I don't know if it's because I didn't make myself clear or if there's something wrong with your head. Whatever the case, I can only tell you these two words. Fuck off. Bang. I didn't expect the anonymous man to be so B-O-L-O. -O. He dared to insult the Dongfang clan in front of many people. If he offends the Dongfang clan, then he 15 no longer qualified to do anything on the floating islands. What the hell is he thinking? Although I know that the Dongfang clan is powerful, since I already have instructions from Yu Tai Bai, I need to leave the floating island soon. So there is nothing they can do to me. This anonymous man is so arrogant. Who is he? This temperament is just like him, so the anonymous man should be Luo Zhang. He shouldn't be a direct disciple of the Han clan. The warriors of humble origin are always very disobedient. You're right. He is from the Han clan, but they did not train him. It's useless to threaten an arrogant guy like him. Ask your elders to give me the anonymous man. Why? Because of the reputation of my clan. But we don't necessarily have the anonymous man. I think Han Ji knows very well whether he belongs to your clan or not. Forget it. It's useless to talk to you. I will just go to your clan and personally ask for him some other time. Step if they really come and find my father, then Luo Zhang will be forced to leave the Han clan. I have to speak with my father first to keep Luo Zhang in the clan. Greetings, Royal Princess. The Saint Emperor is in seclusion if there is no important business. I know, I have something important to say to Emperor Father. Han Clan Saint Emperor, Han Qingdi. Emperor Father. What is it? There are some things that happened in the arena of legends that I want to report to Emperor Father. Especially things that affect the Han Clan's floating island ranking. Emperor Father, did you know that a certified god martial arts who can compete above his level has recently shown up in the arena of legends? I've heard of it. That person is really gifted. What's wrong? If I am not wrong, the anonymous man should be someone from the Han clan and the Purple Soul Palace. He seems to have cultivated Han Jilia's god-slaying sword array, and he uses the illusory sword. How could that be? Without the support of the cross-world divine ability, the sword can't leave one's hand, but only a saint can master the cross-world divine ability. The strength of this certified god martial artist is indeed extraordinary. Now that he has won 31 consecutive wins, his points should have risen to about 1.6 million. Oh? That's even higher than Han Tianxiao's points? It's a blessing that this kind of talent appears in our Han clan. 
but today, Dong Fang Yunju suddenly appeared in the Hall of True Gods. She demanded the anonymous man to join her clan. Can you refuse the request if the Dong Fang clan asks you for the anonymous man? The truth is, I, as well as our clan, have been worried over the years. You are still young, so I don't want you to worry. If the anonymous man is really from our clan, I'm afraid I can't refuse the Dongfang clan when they come. Why? You know, he will make a great contribution to our clan. I finally got together with Luo Zheng. I don't want to be separated from him like this. It's because the Time Sea is going to change again. The rules of the Time Sea's ruling slate will be changed again. We have accumulated countless God Marshal coins, but we can only slightly modify a few words on the ruling slate. On the other hand, the Dongfang clan could afford to revise an entire rule. After all, Dongfang clan occupies nine seats in the Hall of Saints, so long as the Dongfang clan got the acquiescence of the Xianyu clan and the Sword clan, they could pass whatever revision they wanted. Challenging the Dongfang clan would be tantamount to challenging the entire Hall of Saints. In order to prevent the Dongfang clan from making a rule against the Han clan, I had to approach the Lang clan that's close to the Dongfang clan. If this anonymous man can also be used as a favor, it would be even better. You're too young. You will only understand in time. The anonymous man, I appreciate him and he most certainly will achieve great things in the future. However, if the Dongfang clan fancies him then they can just take him away. But, you don't need to worry about this matter. Han Tianxiao will naturally keep an eye on it. The emperor father heard that you are in conflict with the child of the Lang clan? Yes. I originally wanted to talk about this marriage with my father, but I didn't expect my father to bring it up first. Lang Lenyu is a very outstanding man. Your marriage to him is very important to our clan. Someday I'll ask Han Tianxiao to take you to the Lens clan to apologize to Lang Lenyu. I don't want to marry that man, Emperor Father. Lang Lenyu is an excellent man. He may not be as good as your brother, but he is sure to become a great perfection true god under his excellent cultivation. Is that all I'm ever good for? An emperor father's eyes, am I only a thing that can be used to please the Lang clan? Bang. Unrestrained. Yes, I'm unrestrained. If you really want to force me to marry that guy, then just kill me now. You think I won't? Father just sees me as an object to be used. If he really wants me dead, then he might as well do it now. You can leave now. Let's talk about this some other day. Let's talk about this now. Clang. Seems my only choice now is Han Jui. I don't know how Luo Zheng is doing. Mu Ning ranks first among the low-ranked true gods. This should be my last battle for points. I must give it my all to keep my win streak. The Mu clan and the Dongfang clan are part of the same faction. You will eventually join the Dongfang clan in the future, so we will naturally be on the same side. Who's on the same side as you? It is a great honor to be liked by the Dongfang clan. A lot of true gods want to join their clan. And there is no way to refuse if you are chosen by them. Dongfang Yunju has a high status in the Dongfang clan, so it's not advisable to provoke her. Are you going to persuade me for her? The ranking of the floating islands will be decided soon, and if I win this match, I will receive most of the anonymous man's points. Then I'll have more points than my sister. Whoosh! Swish, swish, swish! This move is somewhat similar to that of her sister, Mu Shuerong. I'll try it out first. All you can do is escape? Idiot! Hiss! Why is she not continuing her attacks? What is this mark? Furthermore, why is this small wound not healing? A lot of blood has flowed out since I retreated. Even more strangely, my arm stopped bleeding when I stopped moving. Why did you stop keep running? Whoosh! Why is it bleeding again? I guess I overestimated your strength. You got hit by the blood-breaking bite in such a short time. As long as you move, blood will flow out from the wound. Swish! Until the last drop of blood in your body is sucked dry. The blood-breaking power in the killing divine down makes a wound that is very difficult to heal. 
My father helped me to create the blood-breaking bite, which is a fusion with the life-divine Tao. It's impossible to heal. It's an interesting beyond Tao divine ability. What if I don't move? Wouldn't this technique become lifeless then? You are full of yourself. I want to know how long you can survive my attacks without moving. God slaying sword arrays for swords. The long vine sword will entangle her, then the Buddha Emperor sword and the heavenly tooth sword will focus on attacking her, whilst the Grant Sun sword will continuously protect me. I want to know if I can kill you without moving? You've really cultivated the God slaying sword array. Separate controlling technique. Whoosh. Whoosh. The rumor is true. No wonder the Dongfang clan was so eager to enlist him. One could have the cross-world divine ability only after they created a universe. If this was true, it meant that there was a possibility of a universe existing in the body of the anonymous man. He is not a saint, but there must be something special about his inner world. Shadow escape. Bang, 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 bang. It's enough to hold her back for a while. I'd like to see what kind of mysterious technique this blood-breaking bite is and why it's not being absorbed by the Infinity Ruler. But this Beyond Tao Divine Ability combines two Divine Daos. It seems to be a bit complicated. I don't know if I'll be able to absorb it with the Infinity Ruler. I've already absorbed the Life Divine Tao in the Heavenly Han House. But only a part of the blood-breaking bite is made with the Life Divine Tao. The other part is with the Killing Divine Tao. Blood is a fundamental component of life energy. The life divine Tao knows everything about living beings. The killing divine Tao is an extreme path of killing. A lot of thought must have gone into fusing these two completely contradictory divine Daos into one. The emotion-severing divine Tao probably has the most power among the 3,000 divine Tao, but it alone is not enough. It's best to take advantage of the current Daos that I have mastered and fuse them into a more powerful beyond Tao divine ability. On Mooning's side, it's almost over, long vine sword entangle. It's over. He poof. Boom. She's still alive? How did she reshape her body with blood? This is the second time I have been forced to launch that avenging body in the arena of legends by a member of the Han clan. Avenging body? And someone else in the Han clan had forced her as well? Avenging body?